Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today, we are doing something very special. I'm going to try to set a world record speedrun on a mission. I hope that you guys enjoy. Uh, alongside me, there's going to be Giant Grant Games. All right, let's see here. Grant, are you are you with me right now? Hi, can you hear me? I can. All right, welcome. What's up? Here, can you just talk for one second? I'll try to fix mic levels. Yeah, of course. I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit while you fix all of these mic levels. I can't believe that you're microing those mutas into those Marines, Artosis. I thought you said that Zerg was easy. Why is this happening? Come on, dude. You got to get it together. <laughs> okay, we're... <laughs> All right, I think we got a good uh, balance right there. You have you have a wonderful voice. Uh, thank you. All right, this is I'm very excited about this. First off, thank you for agreeing to uh, take the time here. You're streaming right now, right? Uh, yes. But could you like click some buttons because I'm pretty sure I just have no audio. Yeah. Oh, mm. here. Oh, I had it muted. You hear that? Oh, uh, now I have a lot of audio. Let me get there. That you level. go. Perfect. All right, I have Artosis audio. Yes, I am streaming right now, then. Okay, excellent. Yeah, no, I just, I mute everything when we start. Um, <clears throat> you gotta have that production value for starting. Okay, so, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to approach this, but guys, please check out Grant's stream. You can use uh, the command giant or the command WR in the chat and open that up alongside, because he is a great speedrunner. Why don't you actually just introduce yourself for, for everyone here? Yeah, no problem. So I am Giant Grant Games. I also am known as that deathless guy who probably had gotten a bunch of clickbait YouTube thumbnails from about not losing units in the campaigns. I mm -hmm. have one speedrun world record right now because I've been lazy and haven't gotten others back. And on the 19th through 20th of June, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour speedrun of 147 StarCraft missions in a row. <laughs> oh my God, that's insane. So that must be StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2? Yes, it's all StarCraft. That's excellent. So whatever, I, if I set a world record today, you will probably smash it on the 19th. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. <laughs> when I'm 23 hours in, my times are going to be terrible. Well, are you starting with StarCraft 1? I am. Well, there you go, man. You got me. <laughs> you're going to be fresh right at the beginning. But uh... Yeah, but I'm bad at the game and you're good at it. <laughs> Uh, you're you're pretty good. You're pretty good. I was pretty impressed. I actually invited you to a micro challenge for Pylon Show, and I thought you uh. Had I played some so badly. There. I played so bad. Don't say I play good. You lie, dude. You came up. You came up with better ideas than most people, and I they did, were pro gamers. But I started so. that out so well, and then I was just like, I won one of the first rounds oh. against Vibe, and then I was like, that's not oh, supposed to happen. Four hundred and twenty donated three dollars. Poopy poop boo boo fart fart he 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 wow hear me say fart in two streams at the same time fart fart oh fart my fart. God, that's so loud. Did you hear that? Oh I did. That was Oh my god. Okay, hold on, let me fix that. I that's that is unacceptable right there. <laughs> hold on one second. Oh my god. Sergeant Upon cheered. X one thousand, yesterday was Majestic Artois. Magical Pro Free for All. Favorite translation moment. Sofa. King. Art. All right. Well, hold on. Hold on one second, Grant. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> this is... Thank you, Sergeant Opone. Thank you, Poofies420. <laughs> All right. Properties of this. I don't know why that's so loud in comparison to everything else. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just mute... Yeah, okay, I think I just muted all the alerts, so we don't need to listen to that. Okay, Perfect. thank you guys. I appreciate you, uh, and I appreciate any anything that comes in, but we got to be able to talk. Okay, sorry, what were you saying before? Oh, I don't before remember. 20, you so rudely interrupted us. <laughs> I don't either. Oh, I was talking about the micro tournament, where I like started playing oh, yeah. really decent. I think I won the first couple rounds, and then my brain was just yeah. like, you don't play competitively, you're not as good as Vibe, and then I just shut down. Yeah, it was no, horrible. but you came up with you came up with good stuff for it. So. Yeah, I practiced I gotta, real hard I gotta, for that. Uh, yeah, I update that map again and do some more of that. But anyways, all that aside, we are going to try uh, to get me to break a world record. I'm excited to uh, to see how it goes. Can you what what do I do? What's the what's the first thing here? All right, Lo, let me explain the format of how today is going to go. There, mm -hmm. first we're going to get you uh, acquainted with speedrunning. So just sitting down and doing the same map 
for the entire stream would absolutely be a viable way to do it, but it would be really boring. So mm -hmm. what have I what I've instead done is curated a list of some of the better speedrun missions throughout all the StarCraft 1 campaigns. We're going to go into each of them and we're just going to experience them a little bit. I'm going to teach you the strategies. You're going to execute them until you feel like you're at a good place. And then you're going to tell me that you're ready to move on to the next one. There are six of these missions. And then once we've gone cool. through all six of them, we are going to sit down on one of them, which I know which one it's going to be. You don't have to pick. <laughs> it's going to be the one of the two Terran ones. And it's going to be the big okay. macro one because I figure nice. that's where you're going to be able to crush it. And we're yeah. just going to grind it. We're going to, but not just grind it. Here's one of the things about speed running. We're going to start mm -hmm. out and it's going to be largely you copying everybody else's build orders. But at the end of okay. this, I believe because you are mechanically better than anyone else who has ran the speed run before. So for perspective, mm -hmm. a longtime holder of the Terran world record is BioIce, who is a North American Zerg player, Grandmaster. Very good, but he's not a StarCraft 1 mm -hmm. player and he's not a Terran player, which means mm -hmm. that... Once you get acquainted with that mission, we together are going to start brainstorming new strategies in order to save time on that mission. And so it's going nice. to go, first we start as the learner, just copying everybody, and then we become the strategy makers ourselves. That's the plan for today. Cool. No, I love it. Okay, so what is the first mission we're going to do? Because I'm kind of looking at this website, um, oh, speedrun.com. Yeah. So we are going to do the big push, which is going to be... <clears throat> what we start with and it's what you're also going to get the world record on later nice i love it i love how confident you are that this can be done so it looks like 10 minutes and seven seconds is the current record for that yes now Three i will months tell ago you by thadorton <laughs> yeah thadorton kind of came by the starcraft one scene a couple months ago and just took every world record in the span of like two months damn uh, it's it's not as hard as it sounds because, uh, for example, the, like, Brood War Protoss thing had, like, two people that had run it ever. But he oh, did okay. take, like, the Terran one. The first Terran one has, you know, 20, 30 different people that have run it multiple times, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, in order to get to that mission, we hit single player. Original. Is it? Oh, original. Okay. Yeah, I know. Artemis no is Prison World. <laughs> so, hold on let me let me uh switch my screen over for people okay guys so basically uh because i haven't played the single player on this install of starcraft one grant opened it all up for me and named it of course artosis prison world okay excellent let's go and then we're gonna hit terran and go down to eight the big push now yeah, you can skip through all this I think that either clicking through or escape skips it. I don't remember which. And then hit start. Do I just hit start? Yes. Okay, eliminate Confederate forces. Duke must survive. All you got to do is clear That's the good. map. So first thing we're going to do okay. is hit enter and type in Black Sheep Wall. We're just going to look at the map first. Because unlike normal StarCraft games, there's a lot of stuff you start with. So Okay, so I'm looking at the map. This is not allowed in the speedrun, right? Correct. Because, so we're going to yeah. restart after we look at the map, but of course it's okay to plan everything out beforehand as long as you're not using cheats during the actual run. Yeah, yeah. So okay. as you can so, see, it's a very weird setup. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you something amazing. Look at the minerals. Just how stupid are these minerals? <laughs> Find your gas geyser, like, please. Like, <laughs> 7,214 gas, <laughs> there's but there's no... only one geyser. Now, well, look where hilarious. they put the freaking nuke thing for you. Oh, I know. This is so far away Oh, from no, the not that it one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine like... mining gas from that. <laughs> look at so, how terrible that is. What? I know. It's StarCraft 1, the bait. In Brood War, they figured it out. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to put it. You're not going to nuke anything yeah. because it's so bad. No, nukes are, nukes are, like, I like nukes, they're fun, but that is not how to... No. Look at this, even this one! <laughs> it's amazing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's insane how bad that is! Oh my god, okay. So there's a couple okay. places that I want to show you at the beginning of this. First of all, you figured out where the two CCs go, which is good. Uh, the mm -hmm. If you go over to the brown base, a little the farthest right brown unit they have, if you look on the minimap... 
I guess a little bit up this marine or this right tank? there this high ground so what you're going to mm -hmm. be doing is you have an elite battle cruiser and you have three raids right at the beginning of the mission you're going to be going to that high ground and start killing stuff okay and then what you're going to do is take both your cc's drop them you're going to drop one depot on this high ground and then start shuttling all the, all of your stuff to your base then you're going to go back with one of your dropships, pick up the guy that built the depot bring everything back and start macroing while you start clearing the base with your elite battle cruiser. It's going to be okay, a lot so, of stuff right at the beginning. Okay, yeah, so I need a depot right away. So, like, basically I'm going to start a depot, send the BC and the wraiths over here. Yep. Now, uh, look CCs at the BC over, stats, obviously. by the way. He is way better than the normal BC. Oh, 50-50, four armor. Yeah, so and your target priority is going to be motto. wraiths are ridiculous. Goliaths do a lot of damage, and then Marines don't do anything against him. Just keep that in mind. Also, if you lose him, you lose the mission. Okay, okay. Okay, so okay, so moving the uh, BC and the Wraiths up here, making the depot, getting my mining going, obviously. Macro up heavily. Right. It looks like for this mission... Okay, we have like some random Wraiths around. Do we have Cloak already? No, we no. do not. No upgrades um, at all, except for Yamato. That's a turret and... It seems like siege tanks are going to be very useful here. You're correct. Uh, the build order that they go for is marine tank. Remember, this is not brood war, so there are no medics. Ah, yeah, that's right. I got to keep that in mind. My God. Yeah, we're going to be switching <laughs> between really campaigns a bit, too. So, like, the next Terran mission we do, you will have medics, and it can be kind of hard to... This is one of the reasons I lost in the micro tournament, by the way. Like, I didn't yeah. know what a cyclone <laughs> does on ladder because it's changed, oh, like, funny. 12 times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. The, uh, actually, it's funny because this being um, a, a regular vanilla StarCraft campaign, honestly, I bet you a lot of the Terran missions, the quickest clear, even if it doesn't look right, is probably Marine Medic just because it has such high DPS and macros so quickly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Now, do I have to kill every single thing on this map? You have to kill every building. Okay, okay. Which means so, that the uh, basic progression is that you're going to... Sneak up that right side, and you're going to start melting through the Terran forces. You'll eventually bring an SCV with the dropship up there to repair, and bring the rest of your mm -hmm. army via dropship. You're going to kind of clear the production of the brown, and then you're going to start moving on to the orange base. And while once you're done with the orange base's army, all of your rally is then going to go and kill all the stuff that's kind of randomly out there, like the turrets and whatever mm -hmm. that is in the top left on the weirdest base I've ever seen. That sort of yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this one is is probably worthwhile to at some point uh, before I kill everything else to just send like a dropship up there with a couple tanks or something. You don't, you can only, clear uh, so fast. what's going to happen actually is you're going to pressure the orange base and they're going to evacuate that bunker so that they can come defend and then you can just send a couple marines. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's easy then. Damn. Yeah, there's the a AI lot of prep really that goes dumb. into something like this. Yeah, I would say that uh, speedrunning is definitely a collaborative effort. Like, I didn't figure this stuff out. People figured it out, then mm -hmm. I watched their things, and then you were fine. Don't ask what the AI is doing, by the way. They just, like, drop <laughs> random stuff in random places. I know. It's, it's so cute. <laughs> they really this try. This is how they thought Brood War would be, man, is dropping, like, little tanks and marine forces on little ledges. It's so funny. Yeah, except they don't siege the tanks up ever. I don't know what they're doing. Hmm. So whenever you're ready to give it a try, you can restart, but just make sure you're okay. moderately acquainted with the map. What's going to yeah, happen... Yeah, I think I have a good idea. So we're clearing brown first, right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Orange is actually okay. terrifying. You don't want to fight him. It's a lot more tanks, some Goliaths, battle cruisers. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah, it, seems like, it seems like tank for the most part is going to be... The problem the is you only thing. have one gas. Yeah, damn. Well, yeah, I guess it is Marine Tank then would make more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and I'm I'm kind of going through my brain, right? Like, um, normally in a, I'm like, oh, well, if I don't have much gas, I need lots of vultures in TVT. Yeah, no, that's not gonna, no. that's not gonna kill buildings particularly quickly. <laughs> that's really the <laughs> like big time map control with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they start with map control on every mission. Yeah. All right, I think I'm I think I'm ready to go. All right, let's give this a go. Let's All right. So, um end mission restart, right? Yes. 
Okay, so right now the record in this is 10 minutes and 7 seconds. Obviously, I'm not going to beat that this time, but I'm just going to play this once, right? And then we're going to go to another mission? I was good. Yeah, once or twice. And then I just want to okay. show it off and get it in your mind so you can think about it while you're learning the other missions. Okay. Cool. All right. All right, let's so, go. So, do you want me to Ready? go through what you got to do at the beginning once again? Yeah, sure, sure. All let's right. Do that. So, depot first. Depot. Then grab yep. the flying units and send them to the point. Grab the command centers and send them to the point. Grab your army and the two medevacs. Send them to the base. And then start pre-mining with the three SCVs you drop. Come back with the meta or er, er, come back with the dropship. Uh, pick up the guy that built the depot. And then mm -hmm. start clearing stuff. Eventually two Marines are gonna attack you, and after they attack you, you can send your army with the dropship up to the BC and Flyers. That's the opening. Great. Okay. Sounds good. Let's try it. I'm actually, I, I have like, um, my heart is going pitter patter right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a little bit like, Ooh, this is kind of exciting. I feel a lot of pressure. One thing right. to keep in mind with speed runs is you're probably never mm -hmm. going to lose because these missions are easy. Oh yeah. It's all yeah, about time and it can be very weird in your head to like start clearing. You're like, Oh, I'm doing pretty good. And then you get like a 14 minute and the world record is 10 and you're like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right, let's go. All right. Let's try it. Yes, sir. I have a guy. Transmit coordinates. Reporting for duty. I'm here. Input coordinates. And you're not going to need the science facility or the starport. You can ignore them. Go ahead. Go ahead, HQ. Oh, okay. Well, don't I need dropships? Or... Oh, no, I you have start out with two. Okay. That's actually something we'll talk about later because they suicide the dropships, and I don't think that's right. Because there has to be value from them. Oh yeah, for sure. I think you won't be one square to the left from where you tried to drop. Alright, so you want to Yamato the turrets. And then make sure that you fight outside of range of the bunkers, because they will pull out of the bunkers to fight you. These little stairs are great, because the AI is an idiot. The AI might be sending a drop to your depot. If they are, you're going to have to take your army and go defend it. Yeah. Try not to lose the wraith while you're just poking them. Okay. All right, this is pretty good. So next you're going to want to take that army and bring it up to the BC. And you're just going to use that high ground as your firing point. You have enough for you. No, not quite. Sorry, it's not 125. And then you can send one SCV to go repair if you need to. I don't need it quite yet. Yeah. And then at 215, you're going to take a gas. Oh, my depot didn't make. This is really my life. <laughs> So the factory over there is one of your main targets. It builds the Goliaths, and then the place they there's a racks right next to it. And you're gonna want to start tank production whenever you can after the gas is done. I'm gonna bring up an SCV now. And you can also start marine production whenever you feel comfortable. Oh, you gotta be careful. Oh, shit! Yeah, he dies quick. So you're gonna I'm so wanna... bad! It's okay. It's hard to keep Duke alive. This honestly makes me feel good about myself because I lose him all the time. Oh, 
of one pathing why <laughs> alright let's bring him home 35 kills <laughs> yeah right, you generally right, want to get right. him around 100 at the end of the mission but yeah marine tank you're going to want to patch him up and send him back because this base is really hard to break if you let them keep producing mm -hmm. Everything else is going pretty decent, and pretty soon you're going to want to make a Rax number two. Damn, he's got a lot of health. Yeah, he takes forever to heal. He also it's drains crazy. your gas. Yes, sir. Yeah, I guess so. So your income is just always going to be less than you think it will be because the minerals are placed so stupidly. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm like, God, I should really be able to macro off this very easily right now. Mm -hmm. Also, some of these mineral fields have like 120 minerals on them and they'll just mine out super quickly. It's, it's great. Yeah, if you can siege from up there, you're going to be in real good shape. Yeah, seems pretty good. And your main target is that factory and the barracks that's next to it. Also, I don't think you've pulled the raids yet, so expect raids eventually. There's three of them? I killed one raid. Oh. One raid did come over. That's really nice. Usually it's all three of them and then they kill the duke. <laughs> So eventually you're going to want to get two more racks in one factory. Dude, I only have four more minutes to do this if I want to break the record. <laughs> yeah. Um, Damn. So Brown, in the world record VOD, Brown was dead about a minute ago. Damn, that is so fast. Yeah, it is. People are good. But everybody sucks on their first try. Oh, two raids. They come sometimes. Five Marines wreck two raids. I know that from my TBTs. <laughs> So you're going to have to move a bit more aggressively, I think. Yeah. And do you have the two extra racks in the fact? Yeah, four racks, two fact is what you want eventually. Okay, this base is looking pretty good. Now what you're going to want to do is take a couple of your tanks. You see those orange missile turrets on the right side? You're going to bring some of the tanks over there and spot with the BC to start clearing those. If you remember when you were looking at the map, there was that weird area with a couple of the tanks in that weird place. You're going to go clear that out with the BC and take this stuff out with the tanks. Which? Right over here, oh, just take these. I think I know you're... Yeah, okay. Huh? You got it. Yeah, just take this stuff down. Also, you're starting to run out of minerals, so you probably don't need more SCVs. Yeah. Uh, if you run out, you're basically SOL. Like, you could float to one of the other bases, but as far as the speedrun is concerned, you're dead. Yeah. Seems about right. I wonder if it's ever worth it to get, like, upgrades. So, I was thinking about that, and I was going to ask you about it, because the current run just sits on this, and then eventually they get stim just to clear out buildings faster. But they never get plus one or anything, and I feel like that's wrong. 
but I'm not a Terran no, expert. It, plus one takes like a couple minutes to get. Yeah. And it's 100 gas, obviously. And you're also so poor at the DPS beginning. Dramatically. So you see where Duke is right there, the BC? Mm -hmm. A little bit to his right is a ramp, and that's where you're going to want to start bringing your tanks over to and siege them up to start hitting the orange base. You want at least five oh. tanks over there. A little bit to the right of where he is. You can walk over there, by the way. It's uh, They go up and over a bridge. Okay. But I kind of like the use of the medevac there, or the dropship, sorry. So that ramp right there on top of the ramp. Do not go down the ramp. I should have gotten an academy at some point. Generally, the academy is, yeah, about right now. The thing is, Stim sucks because you don't have medics. So Yeah. Stim is so tricky to use with uh StarCraft one mm -hmm. vanilla. So yeah, you just want to siege up there and slowly pull stuff up to there. You can use the BC to pull stuff more easily. And you want to check on the guys on the left to make sure that they're clearing stuff. Dude, no way. Yeah, AI is fucking StarCraft 1. <laughs> <laughs> you can, if people aren't babysitting their units, there's so many little tricks you can do. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. All right, so you're probably good enough that you can start going down the orange ramp and start securing the position. And yeah, you're doing good with the units there. Probably that rally that's leaving your base right now wants to go top left. Oh, BC's gonna be a pain. Are there any units down on that area? Left side? Yeah, there's gonna be, or I think there might be a wraith or two, but they're just gonna die to a marine. Alright, you want to dive in now with whatever you got. Your marine count's a bit small. You will have to be careful because I think they bring in two or three BCs. Oh, okay. Ninety-two kills in two. Jesus. Yep, he's pretty balanced. Honestly, you're not doing bad for a first try. I know it can feel disheartening to look at it and be like, "Oh, twelve minutes and I'm not done." But for a first try, legitimately very strong. Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna macro the Marines a lot quicker next time. Right. That feels like a, a big hole here because they give up so much DPS. It's just like when you see that many bunkers, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of feels like, oh, well, you don't want Marines here. But I completely agree. The One of the things that I was most surprised about when I was writing down this build is the first Rax is at 420. That's really late. Mm. And then the next two are at 515. Yeah, I almost feel like, yeah, I want to... I'm going to try to get the... Uh ebay as well actually the more i'm looking at this because it's so mineral heavy and so gas light and you're repairing your bc right i'm gonna try uh yeah just to kind of get all that a lot quicker you hear that chat artos is a speed run one mission ever and he's already coming up with new strats <laughs> it's just like the damage output of marines is it's incredible. Stim Marines have the highest damage output along with carriers. It's mm -hmm. just insane, like, how much they actually end up doing. If you, can, if you have overwhelming amounts, you just kind of kill everything in the game. It's just I that tried so running this mission. Splash. 
Yeah, I tried running this mission with pure marine, and I couldn't break orange with it. So you do need tanks for orange, but I don't think you need them for brown at all. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, it, all the marines aggro out of the bunkers when the BC's attacking. Yeah. Which also, you need to hit easy. top right, take the guys top left and bring them over there, I guess. Uh, there's nothing in the mid over there. I think you've got everything except for orange, and I think there's one turret on the left side. Okay. Oh, it's a dropship, never mind. Your forces are under attack. These are really good. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, I have a, some great ideas for this. Nice. Like, I think what I'll do is, with the mass marines, I'll get the quick eBay, and I'm gonna actually aggro those into some turrets here, because I'm gonna bring more SCVs to repair so I can get more aggro with dupe. Hmm. What do we have left here? I think you gotta kill the control tower, and then there's something in... Oh, that add-on. There might also be, with your marines on the left-hand side, one more turret. If you go to the right with them. Okay. Another right. Oh, the right. <laughs> My other right. Okay, <laughs> I got you. Uh, where am I? Shit. This is funny. Like, I can't quite remember where all the, the buildings are. You'll get it pretty quick. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm actually very excited about this. It's very different. The whole reason I started it is I was pissed off about ladder at the time, and I was just like, well, let's get a change of pace. I still want to play StarCraft. I still want a macro, mm. but uh, disruptors exist, so. <laughs> disruptors exist. It's such. I think a lot of people will agree with you on that. <laughs> okay, you okay, nailed so it. We... And you can exit from this bar to hit restart or whatever you want. Okay. Uh, if well, you hit escape, really it'll skip it. Right there you go. Unfortunately, in Brood War, escape doesn't skip the voice lines. It's really stupid. The expansion came out. They're like, uh. <laughs> Dude, this is this is actually very cool. Okay, let's cancel. Okay. Tear oh, in. is your stream by the way? Are they doing like un over under pulse? Because they should be. That's what they do for me. Over under poles. So like, uh, you know how they'll do the bit or the bit poll, not bit polls, uh, channel point polls for. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, do they that are for doing that. I just glanced okay, over. They Good. did. They did above or under sixteen minutes for first run. It was under. All nice. right. <laughs> Sick. Good job, guys. Good job. Holy wizard, by the way, thanks for ten gifted subs. Appreciate you. Uh, okay. So should we do that one again? Yeah, I think so. Like. Okay, let's do that one more time. I'm like, I'm kind of hyped about this. This was a great choice. I think we should do every mission at least twice in a row because the first one always sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Squadron never would have left his equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. It's one more to the left. It's always slightly to the left of the nuke. <laughs> okay. Your income sucks so much already, I can't let you have it worse. <laughs> also, I was thinking about proxying the barracks on that high ground. They don't do that in the world record, oh, yeah. but it seems That's right. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Alright, they didn't drop you that time. That's good. So now you can take your army and bring it up to that high ground. Oh. 
I don't want to make Marines yet. I gotta get my SCV production up. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I use the dropship to bring them to the high ground. Because the mm. fire bats get ya. But the fire bats are really dumb and they can't make it up the stairs very well. It still went pretty well. I've never seen that factory not build a machine shop. <laughs> oh, you're so dead. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, careful. Ah. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck. It happens. The AI is... No, I'm not dead. Whoa, Get the Goliath went dumb. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> I knew I'd make it. So, uh, most speedrunners would just reset right here. Obviously, you're here for the practice, but if you were going truly for time, they'd just be like, well, not fighting with the BC, I'm done. Yeah. Hmm. It truly is the uh, competitive faction for rage quitters. Oh, you want your gas. <laughs> so I'm trying to think about, right, so the, the closest CC should go to this mineral patch. The other one should go to this one. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I think you're right. Like, I'm going to put off tank production until I'm going to attack orange. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I, yeah, the, using the dropship to unload here would have been much, much better on that. Also, one thing they do is, in the normal speedrun, they suicide both of their dropships pretty quickly to open up supply. I think getting rid of one of them is still correct, even if we're going to make use of the other one, which I really think we should. But you start out supply blocked and you don't have much money, so... You just send yeah, it that into... Yeah, okay. Uh, make sure you send it to brown, though, because I don't know how AI activation works in this game, mm -hmm. but it might mm -hmm. piss off orange and get them to attack you. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go to... Let's do the next. All right, next mission? Because, yeah, that one got screwed up, but I, I feel like I learned a lot right there. All right, so let's head to the Brood War now. So you're going to have to hit cancel and cancel. And then single player expansion. And then we're going to go to Terran again. So I picked out the missions that I could, and unfortunately, I really wanted to get some of every race, but I know this is going to be a huge shock to you. Every mm -hmm. Protoss mission is cheese. No way. I know. It's really <laughs> shocking. <laughs> There's like... I know. God. The bit closest thing you get to macro in the Protoss mission is either A, cannon rushing off of two bases, mm -hmm. or B doing a one base dragoon thing so we're gonna do that later but we're gonna hit another terran mission that's first. hilarious that's that's <laughs> okay especially uh, once where, brood war comes down the dt comes you're gonna go mission three ruins of tarsonis and we're gonna do the same thing where you just look at the entire map first and then we'll talk about mm -hmm. it all righty you guys not hear game sound Go ahead, HQ. Oh yeah, I guess they don't. Do huh. That's weird. I have your game sound. No slash. So there's four hives on this map, and all you have to do is kill the hives. None of the rest of the Zerg bases matter. Okay. And we're going to kind of cheese all of the hives in various ways. Mm -hmm. So the first one is right there. And you have an elite ghost in your mineral line. You can't lose him. Uh -huh. If you lose him, you lose. Uh, what you do is a little bit under that spore crawler, there's a little ledge. Yeah. And you are going to put him there, and he can barely hit the hive. What that's going to do is piss off the Zerg, and then they're going to start coming. You have a bioforce you start with on the... Yeah, you got those guys, and you don't want to empty that bunker. You need it to defend. 
but there is a bunker to the right that you can empty. So you're going to take all those guys and bring them to the ramp, and then you're going to start using the ghost to kill some of the mutas and then start hitting the hive. That means they're going to mm -hmm. rally up that ramp and you're going to be able to slaughter them. Once you've killed enough of their oh, okay. forces, you're then going to dive down the ramp through the uh, sunks and over to the hive and then snipe it with the bioforce. So that's okay. going to be the first one. We're not going to talk about any other hives yet. Just restart and do it. And that's how we're going to do this is I'm going to teach you how to kill all four of the hives and then we're going to combine them together into one run. Nice. Okay. Your That's... Are under attack. I'm just... Let me look at it for one second. I just want to look what I'm kind yeah, of working no with here. Oh, and... I uh, guess... Is it is it mostly bio-based? Yes, it's all bio. Okay. I'm trying to think, like... I mean, we should probably get stim, right? Relatively quickly. Uh, let me take a look gas. at my notes. Uh, see, well, one thing is you're going to be proxying a factor. If you look at Red's base in the top left, Red has, like, no air units, and they have that giant ledge. So you need your gas in order to proxy a factory, then you float it up there, yeah. build two siege tanks, and kill the hive, and they can't do anything about it. Oh, that's hilarious. It's real dumb. And then... Oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, they have a ramp here, though. They yeah, they don't, don't know how to use Sparta. it. Oh, that's funny. It's really... So, the sea chanks probably go over here? Yeah, uh, if you see that little thing of grass next to where your minerals were, you uh, just put your machine shop there, and you put the tanks right there and snipe it. Wait, sorry, where was that? A little bit up. Like here? Oh, right here. there, that oh, okay. grass. Yeah, very easy, okay. So, you that one is the SCV simplest by far. Okay. It's not even sneak, it's yeah. just walk an SCV. Oh, okay. Yeah, it seems like everything mostly all. stays in its base. Uh, they will attack you eventually, but we're hopefully going to... What's going to happen in this mission is you're probably going to win in a base trade. But you are going to win. Oh, uh, okay. And that's... Uh, one thing in speedrunning, a lot of base trades happen. Because you get eventually get to the point where it's just faster to trade. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, and this is the ramp where I want my bio out here? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, if you go up... Oh, this one? That ramp, yeah. Okay, so you bring okay, the ghost okay. to that ledge, and then he pulls everybody up that ramp, and you get the high ground, you win the fight, you run them out of stuff, and then you dive the bio first to the other side of the minerals, and then you bring them over to the hive. Yeah. Okay, and the ghost, where is the ghost supposed to stand? Like right here? About right there, yeah. You can play with it right now. It's a kind of a finicky location to actually be able to hit the hive. He's a very strong ghost, and he owns mutas, though. So, you don't have to worry too much about it. Or maybe ghosts just own mutas on their own, I don't know. They do not. Okay. I can assure you they do not. I was pretty sure <laughs> they don't Samir do damage Durand, against anything. No, <laughs> no they are they are a weak-ass unit. That's yeah, so sure. that is the perfect position. Oh, that, yeah, that's just aggroing. He's not even... He's only sent two mutas anyways. Yeah, that's, uh, different. Usually they send more. Uh, the All AI right. does act weird when you have cheats on, though, so that might be part of what happened. Because they also get ah, the okay. cheats. Oh, that's funny, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, so we're just going to reset and do that? Yeah, we're Kill just going to do the brown here. hive. Okay. Oh, they're dropping um, you. Sure. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Alright, um, one second. I just want to see if I can figure out how to get sound to go through here, because I know I'm streaming my screen to you is there some way to, for me to type in sound because it's piping sound to you yeah make it also pipe sound to me i have no idea wait right, one second your forces are under attack hello testing hello no hmm. oh i think i know what it is hold on one second There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh. Okay, I have it fixed. Can you speak for a second? Hi. Yes. Okay, I gotta up your voice now. I had, I had. You have one of these Go XLR things? Yeah, I do. All right. That's I. I screwed up my settings on that. I had my Pylon Show Go XLR profile on. And that's what did it. Gotcha. Uh, guys okay, in my one... chat, could you tell me if our Tosis is too loud now? He's uh louder for me. 
Oh, did I get way boosted there? Yeah, you did. Okay. Sorry about that. I think you're good now. Okay, I think I think I have everything. Okay, can you just speak for a second? All right, I'm going to speak about hives. They're really great. <laughs> I really do love killing four hives exactly. It's going to be a magical adventure. Okay, and here, I'll just turn my mic down a little bit here for you. Um, Go ahead and speak one more time. We're going to snipe some hives with some bunkers and some siege tanks, and then we're going to die to guardians, and it's going to be really frustrating. Or, I mean, then we're going to kill nice. the orange base. Nice. Okay. Oh, you need your mic's really low now. Oh, sorry. Okay. That there. Maybe I'll boost you in Discord. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on one second. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. One second. Okay. Now, um... Go ahead and speak. Manatees have nipples in their armpits. <laughs> do they really? They do. It's crazy. Wow. It's Thank cold up there. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. On one second. I just got to boost you in Discord and we'll be good to go. All right. Sounds great. Uh, Voice connected. How do I... Okay. Go ahead. Talk. Uh, I don't know any more manatee facts there off the go. top of my head, but okay. <laughs> All right. We are ready. Perfect. Okay, quit mission. Wait, what? There was no restart. Huh. That was weird. Okay, so that was mission Ruins three. of Personas, right? Yes. Cool. Okay, let's go. Go ahead, Amy. So you have to watch this little dumb thing. Uh, if you want to skip it for other ones, just make a save once you unlock all your stuff, and then you can just reload the save. That's all right. Uh, if you're going for an actual world record time, you can't do that, but for practice, it mm. is nice. So, everybody in the top bunker stays. Everyone else pulled out. Perfect. And then you do want to build an academy ASAP, and then a gas on 20. Apparently I'm muted on your stream now. Are you? <laughs> Speak again. Uh, I hope that it works out. But no, you, I think, I think, uh, I don't think you are. You can't hear him. Yes, That's right, a shame. What? Oh, oh, actually, just F10 pauses. I like hit F10P. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear. Oh, you gotta watch out. The AI is gonna unpause it. Start killing your stuff. Oh, there it is. Okay, there, guys. Okay, go ahead and speak, Grant. All right. Can you hear me, Artosis' chat? Please tell me you can. There we go. Okay, sorry. I am. I am not. Um. I'm not either. All I do is play video games. I'm actually like what. Your parents didn't want you to be. <laughs> okay, are we ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's, go. Let's do this. Oh, when do you get a gas? Yeah, you want a gas on tw oh, 22. And then you're going to get sh uh, range first. Range first! You need it Craziest to hit one of the hives. My life. Uh, there is something in your mineral line giving you a bad day. Yeah, that just happens sometimes. The one muta timing. So what you want to do now is kind of use a medic to po poke down there and pull people up. One or two times. But be careful of the sunk. And then once you feel confident, you want to dive to the wrong side of the minerals. Like the side they don't mine from. Okay. 
How quickly did they kill this hive on the speed run that, that is the best one? Oh, you don't want to know. Actually, this one doesn't matter that much because you're waiting on other ones always. So, oh, you're becoming a big Oh, one. really? Okay. Yeah, so one of the things that's weird about speed, you don't want to fight that. Oh, I'm getting double Artosis audio now, I think. Really? Nice. Why is this such a pain? Well, your voice is fine. It's just the game is doubled. The game is doubled. Oh, I think I know what it is. Hold on. Sorry about this. Um, okay, so my broadcast mix. Oh, yeah. Let me check what my mic is on here. I actually had this problem for the longest time doing Pylon Show where they could hear everything I was doing on my computer. Oh. Because I did not realize how Go XLRs actually worked. It took forever, and people would just like look at me funny and be like, "Why is he piping his audio into the call?" <laughs> okay, voice and video chat mic, input device. No way, that that seems to be right. Oh, you fixed it. I think. Why is everything so difficult? Okay, what are you, what are you getting double of? Uh, I was getting double, and then you click something, and now, well, I can't hear anything because the music went away, but it fixed itself for a sec. I think it Did might it. be good. You good right now? Yeah, uh, you got to do something in the game so I can. It's game sounds are doubled for me, or they were. This is fine. It works. Okay, so game sounds are not doubled. They're not doubled. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what that was then. Perfect. I'm not even sure what I changed. So once you feel comfortable, you go onto the other side of the minerals. It's just, uh, sometimes you'll pull some stuff, so you go to the far side just for safety. Uh, yeah, okay, I got you. And so what I was saying with the timing benchmarks, often in speedrunning, you'll delay the middle timings because they don't matter in the end. The only thing that matters is the whatever the final objective is, the slowest one, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So... I think you did that very well. So what we're gonna do now is you're gonna take the ghost, I'm gonna start teaching you the purple base. You wanna float okay. your eBay and take it to the left, which is the reason we're not getting plus one or anything. Okay. And then you are going to take the guys out of the top bunker because they've defended an attack while we've been doing stuff. Somehow they got damaged. Uh, over there, and then you're gonna bring one SCV and you're gonna bring the ghost. Once you dive to the low ground with the guys, that's when you start moving the ghost and get all this set up. And you see where those bones oh, okay. are in the farthest north place? You're going to build a bunker right there. And the marines in the bunker with range are going to be able to hit the hive using the floated eBay to spot. That's hilarious. <laughs> it so is what gonna, does the ghost do over here? Uh, he protects them because they're going to get hit by a decent number of mutas and hydras and stuff. You're also going to build a turret under the bunker. Yeah, because they do this. So part of the reason that this is happening is because we were slow. I You would normally be doing this simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But for learning, they came in and got a little bit of the stuff. So you build the turret right under. And this one just takes forever. You pull the eBay up and you just are able to spot it's funny, by the way, that Samir has a uh, lockdown for this. Yeah. I find that, I find that comical. <laughs> yeah, what you're going to want to do, there's the spore right above him, and you're going to want to kill that, and you can then move up to spot. This is so funny. Everything is so stupid. It really is. <laughs> It is the blessing and the curse. I love that they curse. parasited him. <laughs> hey, you can't oh cloak now, right? Is yeah, that what parasite yeah. does? Good counter. We're going to be seeing that in the next ASL, and they're going to be like, yeah, I watched our toast of speed run, and I learned the strat. <laughs> All right, so let's get the next hive out of the way, learning. Send an SCV up, and let's just do the proxy. Because it is really easy, and you're not going to have any trouble with it. 
Mm. Oh, don't lose the eBay, though. Oops. You need it to spot. Oh! Top three eBay micro. <laughs> really got the skills. Damn, he just barely can't hit that. Yeah. It's okay, though. Once the area is secure, he has to go to the yellow base at the top, and he has to go to that point at the very end, so he doesn't get to spend much time at this hive. Also, he's still a ghost, so he doesn't really do damage. Yeah, I know. He's... Concussive is so terrible. I'm going to give you a little trivia fact, Grant. Concussive Ooh. is the worst type of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, which races have concussive damage? Terran. There we go! I knew that off the top of my head. Yeah. Reason number 87 that I don't play Terran in Brood War. <laughs> what is the record on this map for speed? Uh, let me look it up. So, I guess I can talk about this now. This is a really dumb thing that the StarCraft speedrunning community does, and they shouldn't. And it's because the community is small. They keep the records for all patches in the same list, which is insane if you are aware of any StarCraft 1 bugs. So for example, on this mission, I know that the record involves using the command center slide bug, which doesn't work in this version of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't do command center slides anymore. Yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, it, you used to be able to land a command center, and while it was in the process of landing, if you issued a move command, it would move to where you tell it to after it lands on the ground. And then you could just bring it to your minerals. Turns out, makes your income really good. You can't do that anymore, but the world record does that, which is stupid. Mm. In StarCraft 2, all the broken stuff from the beginning of Wings of Liberty doesn't count. Those runs don't count, because why would they? It's insane. So let mm. me try to figure out the best time for this mission that doesn't abuse bugs that you can't do. And that's the reason we're not doing this one for a world record, by the way, because you can't uh, that cheat. Makes sense. Damn. Oh, you should see the Zerg speedrun. It's insane. Uh, yeah? You know, the there's an old bug where if you have enough lag on your computer, you can hit your Hydras to morph into Lurkers and then select a group of Zerglings, and the Zerglings will morph into Mutas with Zergling upgrades. What? And then, so you can get speed-upgraded Adrenal Mutas. For and that they cost the they're insane. one supply each and they cost twenty five gas to morph, and that's it's it's stupid it's incredibly insane you can't do it anymore, but it's uh it's a thing. That is crazy. And then of course there's like the invulnerable flying drone glitches and that kind of stuff. You can turn there's another glitch where you can turn your drone into a nidus then cancel the nidus with a bug, and then the drone will act as a moving nidus forever. There's a whole bunch oh of... Oh my god. Yeah, this game was broken when it came out. <laughs> so is it like... um? Yeah, I guess there would be different records for different things. Like, if you have, like, StarCraft 1.0 or something, maybe there's more bugs and you can do quicker clears or something, right? Yeah, if the community were bigger, they would definitely separate it into the different runs. Mm -hmm. Research Let me... I've almost found his time, because I have to go through the full run VOD of the world record in order to find the good one. Uh, six minutes. He kills On all... this mission? Yeah, six minutes here, no bugs. Cool. It, it seems doable, honestly. Like, now that you're showing me, I can see how I could very quickly clear this and then get over here. Right. I and... actually feel like... Uh, I should get Stim first. On. Like, if I was to try this, I think I would toy around with Stim first. I think that is worth trying. I believe oh. the reason... <laughs> huh. What the fuck? There's a Zergling. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to sell your Whoa, own. they made it up! What the... Yeah, I think that you want to go... Uh... Or maybe here, it's just maybe. that they eventually figure it out, and if you're fast enough, they're too stupid. Oh, you got uh, sunk. Okay. It's kind of like Dark Swarm. The reason you got Dark Swarm there is because the AI has to manually research it. And if you're fast enough, they won't research Dark Swarm. Ah, There's a couple gotcha. other timing attacks that, for example, exist that you specifically hit because they have Dark Archons that just have nothing upgraded. And you need oh, to wow. hit before that. 
Mm -hmm. So, oh no, I closed all my notes. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, stim first. The reason I don't do stim first is because you need range to hit the bottom base, and that yeah. base takes forever to kill. It will be a bottleneck if you don't start hitting it pretty quickly. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because there's like uh, some units here, and there's like a spore and stuff. Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Actually, that makes sense because um, like this one, you don't actually like this one. You can kill at any time, right? Because this is the easiest one. Uh, the only reason that you want to do it more quickly is you're going to take those units in addition to bio that you produce at your base and bring them up to kill Orange. And Orange mm -hmm. is the guardian base. It's the hard one. So how, how do you clear that one? Uh, you're going to take your bio force, you're going to bring it to the far right side of the map, and then you're going to creep your way up, poking, all, poking various spore crawlers. It doesn't really matter which, just to piss off the guardians. Bring them under mm -hmm. you, snipe the guardian move up, rinse and repeat, try to get the guardians one at a time. And then once you get to the hive, you can just target it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, that seems that seems simple enough. Yeah, it's simple enough. You just don't have that much to do it with, and guardians are quite a unit. Uh, if you want to be yeah. really fancy, you can use the medics to go pull instead, because they can take three shots from the guardians instead of two from the <laughs> guardian. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any sense to get upgrades again like to make another ebay because if you're only making two eBay. tanks you're actually not using many but remember you only have six gas, minutes right? worth of gas if you're going for the fastest speed mm, yeah that's true you start with 100 and you need another 150 plus another 100 plus another 50 so it's 300 plus 450 it's and you mine gas at 300 per minute right so yeah, I guess it gets And a you will bit get tight. stim for the orange base. So that's another is stim 150? 100. 100. Nice. Sorry, I have no idea how much stuff costs. I learned literally yesterday that the tank costs 100 gas in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tank's actually a good unit in this game. I mean, the tank would be a good unit in StarCraft 2 if the Widowmine didn't exist. <laughs> And yes, every comment I make about StarCraft 2 will be hating splash damage. I, well, that is that is actually one of the big problems with StarCraft 2, because everything clumps up. I think it's the and big the problem. And splash damage is unreal. Yeah. I was actually thinking of hosting a King of the Hill show match that just removed splash damage, and just see how the game played. Mm. I know it would be totally broken, but I think the games might be interesting. So you want to be real far to the right here. Or, er, uh, yeah. Because you'll pull a bunch of mutas and guardians if you're not. And you don't need to kill the spores. So normally when you get to this place, you're going to have... maybe <laughs> Yes. If you have 12 minutes worth of marines, you're good. <laughs> You're gonna have like eight to ten this marines when easy you go in here normally. Am I the world champion yet? Yeah, you are. Congratulations. <laughs> Wait, you lost. Oh, you fucking cheated. <laughs> <laughs> no way. All right, he cheated. He cheated. That one doesn't count. Oh, and they cheated man. over here too. Okay. Send him to the Should we go on world. to the next mission or? <laughs> no, let's do this one. We haven't done a real attempt on it. All right, let's go. Combine it all. As I said, it's only six mission or six minutes, so you'll be good. So 19 Academy, 20 Gas, which is, uh, I believe, your starting supply, and then the supply after. Come on. Then you're instantly wa going to want to send the eBay to the left as well, once your army starts moving. Yes, sir. I read you. Yes, Captain. What do you need? I'm here. Yes, Captain. I read you. Yes, Captain. SCP, good to go, sir. Captain, our sensors are tracking Zerg signals in every direction. It appears that our intelligence Your forces are under attack. Admiral, if we focus on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. Stack! Did someone hate you? I'll okay. take care of it. Let's move. 
So after range starts, you're going to start your marine production. Oh, okay. It's a little bit farther south than that. So you start doing the medic pulls. Or maybe you don't have to. I don't know. There you go. And be careful not to let the sunk get you up there. They do infinity damage. I'm sure you know that. Don't two shot on the marines. Uh, you cannot build the bunker until you have that area secure. Because they will just snipe it. Oh, okay. So once you're once you feel comfortable enough to dive to the other side of the minerals, that's when you pull the ghost over there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm good. Alright, then you're going to send an SCV up north to start proxying red. I'm going to keep my SCV production very good during that. Mm. You can probably start the bunker whenever you got the money now. Yeah, you're definitely right about skipping stim till later. I see how tight this is getting. Yeah. Ooh, eBay oh, my died. eBay died. Oh, I'm such a such a fucking bonehead. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be rough. I think that's priority one. I could see though mapping out like every every little aspect of this. Yeah, people like, yeah, exact really moves good. to make. Mm -hmm. If you're the type of person that likes making build orders, it's really fun. I think the eBay needs to sit somewhere like here. Yeah, you gotta oh, be very passive out. with, or not passive, but defensive with it initially. So what are you gonna do about army for the orange base? I guess some new, new racks? Yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, make another racks, it's all right. I think you can <laughs> like, I'm not gonna the break turret. the record, obviously, but. Yeah, okay, so, think, yeah it's somewhere like that. that. This is good though. I mean, it's not great, but it's a good salvage from a bad situation. Mm. I wonder if, uh, when you do something like this, if, like, maybe the barracks should be, like, further forward or something. Uh, rally quicker into orange or something like that. That's an interesting idea. I wonder if it, it might have to do with the various attack waves that come... But also, I've noticed that a lot of people just don't proxy as much as they should when they're routing mm. stuff out. So this stuff's basically ready. Yeah, I think Almost you done this one. Your economy's pretty good. Uh, do you have... You can probably start stim now. Yeah, let me let me get the uh, tank first. That's a good idea. Just as I thought, this brood can't operate without its primary. There you go. So now the bottom that base is disabled. You don't have to be safe. You can just walk right through it. Yeah. And you're gonna want to group so. up with your guys and start going to the right hand side. That does take forever to kill. <laughs> Fucking mm. hive from the low ground. Half missed shots is rough. Half missed shots with only four marines in a bunk with no upgrades. Not enough 
careful with positioning. You don't want to piss them off before you can avoid it. Yeah. Because that gives them a longer amount of time to figure out how to get over there. I think that's a good position. So what you're going to do with a ghost on this side, because he has to be at the yellow point at the end, is you want to fight the guardians with him because your bio army is kind of small. And then once you've gotten the guardians down, then you're gonna slip your way over. Okay. I think it's farther to the north. You might be at a wall. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get stem. Oops. Oh, and I can actually just walk out this way. Yeah, you can. Okay. So far to the right. I really like your idea of proxying the orange base, though. Yeah. It seems right. These missions seem very doable after you've explained them to me. Mm -hmm. the, it seems very doable to break these records, honestly. Like, I'm not doing very well this time, but... Yeah, I definitely think, especially the Terran ones, as I said, you mechanically just are there. And most people are like StarCraft 2. Uh oh. StarCraft 2 players that are trying it out. Oh no. <laughs> you didn't get it. Yeah. So you gotta be careful. Honestly, you only more need like 12 Marines to clear this. Yeah, you said that last time too. <laughs> but then I target. Oh god! <laughs> Few more. <laughs> so if it gets really bad, the red base is dead. So you could take the tanks, bring them down the ramp, bring them all the way over to purple, <laughs> and siege it. No problem. Like we, we, we gotta, we gotta chalk this one up to failure. <laughs> Just gotta work on your building, Micro. Maybe I'll have a cannon rush yeah. to figure that out. <laughs> so yeah, for the orange base, the real thing that you want to change is getting those medics up there to kind of bait them and then pull back so you mm. can pull multiple stuff at the same time. Yeah, it seems when I went up to kill this guardian, it aggroed three more back here. Yeah. So if I just aggro that one back, pull back, like they aren't coming right now. Right? Like, I, there, right. I believe there's three guardians up here. There might be at this point. I have no idea what you killed. And I can't tell you how the StarCraft 1 AI works. And I don't think the people that made the AI can tell you how it works. Well, they definitely have no idea. Alright, should we redo this one or should we do a new, new mission? That's really up to you. You feeling it? Or... I feel like I want to try this one one more time. Yeah, give it another shot. Just tell the clown AI to leave. Thank you guys in the chat. <laughs> totally. All right, let's try this once more. Once more. I'm gonna. I I have a much better idea now. Mm -hmm. It's not very often that I utilize buildings to spot spores on the high ground, so I don't have that that spacing down quite yet. You know. <laughs> You'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> These are advanced StarCraft techniques. It's guys, gonna by be the way, meta. check out Grant's uh, stream, guys. Use the command giant in the chat or WR in the chat. Check it out. Oh, yeah. The only difference is uh, you get to see my face instead of Artosis's, which might be a strict huh? downgrade. <laughs> you got to be sick of me by now. Ah! What is this? <laughs> I love StarCraft 1 sometimes. Only when I get to watch people. Ah. Uh. Why is this lagging? Yeah, it's really slow. I must have. There's actually ways to change uh, the speed in game. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. I must have fucked that up somehow. Technically, that's illegal to do in speedruns, because uh, some people tried. Because the in-game clock goes at the same speed, and then they would edit the video to be faster in post. Oh, to that's make it, hilarious. To make it try to look the same. But then you'd have a mouse going at like 7 million miles an hour, and it's really obvious. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be real careful about eBay. Oh, it's gonna be like the way I fucking lose everything always. Yeah, you dove too early this time. Mm. I think that Duran was shooting the spore instead of the hatch, so yeah. things weren't pulling up. Yeah, you're right. You're only a minute in if you want to give it a reset. You don't have to. Alright, let's try that one more time. But I tend, especially when doing one mission at a time, I think it's best to just have a very clean start, because you feel better, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no point otherwise. Mm. Alright. Be, this will be the last try here, then we'll go to a different mission. Send it a little farther okay. south, please, just for me. <laughs> I see where you send it, and I just get heart palpitations. I'm so scared. <laughs> eBay lives matter, man. Alright, so there we go. I target him on that. Perfect. It's actually comical how good medics are. They're it's incredible. Bad players. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, look, this guy just can't fucking kill my units. I don't have how any upgrades. How fast do they heal? Do you know? I mean, obviously you know, but it's like well, I don't know the I don't know any numbers. Like, I oh. know the feel of everything. Because I know the medevac is like nine HP per second or something, and this is way more. I'm gonna try it. Good luck. Oh. Alright, we're good. Yes. I can't oh, believe I... you got away with that. Let's bring this dude over here. Bunker guys. Pull the guys out of the north bunker. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't start it until you got, yeah, at least him to tank. He's pretty darn tanky for a ghost, so... He can oh, do a why are we... <laughs> why? Well, how good are medics? Yeah, they're pretty good. What is that muted doing? I need to use old <laughs> position. This is the problem. Well, you got the world's dumbest muta, so that helped out a bit, too. <laughs> And then you're going to oh. send your proxy guy out. Oh. Shit. Yes, sir. Oh. Can he do it? No. <laughs> yeah, you took the dive too early. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is more what this should look like. Yeah. Just one more. One more. <laughs> I'm getting addicted right now. This is like, I, I'm just a re man. No matter what happens, I'm like, okay, go again. Go again I get go it. Again. Go ahead, HQ. Plus, the next one I got you playing Protoss, so delay that as much as possible. <laughs> I couldn't find a good mission with recall cheese. I was really looking for it. Oh, damn. <laughs> 
chance with his destruction once we've cleared the area. I read you. Right away, sir. Yes, Captain. How can I be of service? Put that like right there. That's safe. How can Is I it? Captain, yep. Alright, guys in the chat, make sure you run a poll on that. Is it safe or is it it? <laughs> is it not? Earn your channel points today. Destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. What? Okay, sure. I would do the medic dive one more time to try, and then you're probably safe. Yep. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Alright. I'm gonna work on this now. I'm just gonna keep him on hold position. Uh, send the guy to proxy top. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna put that there. Oh! Oh! Trying to fuck me up. How can I be of service? I'll take care of it. You got it. So I want him to aggro. Yes, Captain. Then you can put pressure on the spore. Or not. A little bit back. There we go. Oh, uh, your proxy dude is stuck? Or something? Oh. So I will say, world record time, the guy that got to the brown base only had two marines alive at this point. Oh, Bob. Yeah, man. We're gonna <laughs> got that bio micro. If you move a little bit more down, then you'll be able to camp them as they spawn. Ah. Uh, because got that I don't want to waste going. any shots on the other thing. Yeah. Let's set that up. And you're making marines at okay. home, right? Uh, no, I haven't started yet. You should start. Okay. Take one off. No, oh, eBay! Oh. He can be under the bunker, it's fine. Yeah. All you need is the slightest amount of vision. This brood can't operate yeah. without its primary hive cluster. Good save. So you can bring the ghost over to orange now. You know what I think I will do? Like, if I do this one again, I'll just float this forward at the beginning. Yeah, it's a good idea, because it doesn't produce. Float it to there. Yeah, if you're not using it, you may as well send it. Embrace your inner protocols. Okay, so we have that going. There we go. We don't have stim quite yet. I was a little bit late on that. That's okay. Uh, the perfect proxy location. Okay, try using the medics this time to fish around for enemies. Yeah, if I get him up there quicker. Yeah, and he can be healed by the medics, so he's real, real yeah. bulky. 
Now just be very careful up here with the extra guardians. You have tanks producing? Oh, fuck. It's always something else. Uh. He might be able to do it. I mean, he's got his harem <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, we got one. Yeah, I don't think Cloak is going to help in that base. There's a couple spores. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, this is actually really fun. This is like... It's, it is. It's exactly like grinding out build orders. Like, I, I grind out build orders sometimes at night, like on my PC alone, like against nothing. Mm -hmm. I just like make a computer and make it leave. Right. Um, and it's kind of like this where I'm like, oh, no, I that depot needs to be a little bit quicker. Okay, restart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like therapeutically relaxing when you just get into a momentum, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe right. you don't find it that what? way. You want to head to Protoss? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're going to do mission three, Legacy of the Zelnaga. And then we'll do Zerg mission three after this. It's all mission three. All right. <laughs> Guy in the chat, tip 333. I am all right, let's get out of there. So your build order is 11 gas, 29 core. Servants can be killed only oh my god, you have a... <laughs> you have two DTs. So this mission is all about your dropship micro. If you look at the enemy base, mm -hmm. it's all on an island. And what you're going to be mm -hmm. doing is a two-gate Dragoon push to beat this base with pure dropship micro for your rally, basically. Which means you have to be manually rallying the entire time, which is a pain in the butt. There's going to be a rallying. Well, yeah, you're, you have to rally to the edge of the island, and then you have to pick up with the shuttle every time and drop them both off while you're microing a two-gate push. Oh, okay. So you're going to get these Sares, and a couple of goons are going to pop out. You're going to grab them and send them to your base. This just teaches you what D-Web does. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to kill this. You can just walk everyone south. And then you're going to, if you look at the Zerg base, there are giant brain dudes. Right there. Yeah, these things. Yeah. yeah. They have 1,500 HP and their detectors. You have to kill them with Dark Templar next to them. Those are the objective. You have to kill both of them. And the DTs don't have to get the killing blow or anything, but they do have mm -hmm. to be on top of them in order to get the victory. So what you're going to do okay. is basically two-gate push your way to Orange's thing by full reg regularly clearing and then using some D-webs to take out static defense because Sunks are literally the scariest thing ever against goons. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to target down that one, then you're going to dive the purple one and use D-webs to protect while you micro your DTs in a way that they don't die, but they do get <laughs> on top of the objective before it dies. It's okay. not that bad. This is going to be the easiest of the missions that I teach you today because mm -hmm. it is the hardest of the protoss missions or <laughs> it is the only good protoss mission honestly they're all pretty bad okay so the, basically i'm rushing up to shuttle right uh yes you're gonna rush up to shuttle don't. your build order yeah. is 11 gas 29 core because you rescue the guys at the top then 33 robo 33 pylon 33 goon range and then you get another gate and you just go two gate okay goon and so rally. so robo Robo, then range, and two gate goon. Yeah. Rally, micro. All right, let's try it. It's not too hard. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I think you gotta click through this. Unless you're reading the lore. <laughs> I really do not. Ah, I, yeah, I need to just do a regular split there. <laughs> and once again, the magnificence of whatever Brood War minerals are in the campaign. Just <laughs> a, a square of them, why not? Okay, so we got these guys. Basically, we can't do anything until we have a shuttle. Right. Oh, and put your DTs a little bit to the left of your Nexus, because they're going to send, like, pretty close to the Nexus, though. Like, right there. Yeah. Because they're going to send attacks, and you might as well not have to micro while you defend. Mm-hmm. 
So they kind of come in last then. Yeah, exactly. I wish they'd just give me that shuttle right there that's flying away. It'd be great. The thing about speedruns, though, is you don't get an advantage if you get it, because everyone else would as well. It just means that they'd be faster. <laughs> so you're not going to build a pylon until you do 33, 33, 33. Yeah, right there is where you're going to want to go across, and in order to drop with the shuttle properly, de-webbing that spore is the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, now it's Artosis trivia so time. How long does de-web last? Do you know? Oh god, it's fast. It's fast for sure. I'm not... I don't know though. 15.12 seconds. Damn. I don't know why it's point one two. Uh, You want the... Yeah, you can get the pylon. As long as you can afford the, the robo. Yeah, no, it's the robo. Then you get the pylon. There you go. Um, you know what the longest lasting spell in the game is? Is it lockdown? It feels like lockdown. It's lockdown and stasis. They're the same amount. Oh, yeah. Stasis is, I mean, yeah. Uh, D-Web used to last a really long time, didn't it? I can't recall actually. It was never really a popular spell. Like, it's so expensive. And the last patch we had was like year 2000 or something. Yeah, I think when it originally came out, it lasted like 60 seconds. It was basically Protoss Dark Swarm. Which is exactly what they need. <laughs> Without doubt. I'm trying to figure out here. I guess money wise, we need a shuttle first. Yeah. Because I can't. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that happens. There. Try not to lose it. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking clown zerglings. Are you, like, really? Really? Alright, in the future, I will leave one on each side. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you're blocked for the shuttle. Oh, that's Dude, so I'm brutal. Dude, I'm forever. It's so crazy. These fucking luck box circlings over here. And that's a hundred minerals gone, so now everything's later. It's insane. Guys in the chat, I will I will finish this one. Okay, so you can put up the bet about under over. I don't think they attack from the bottom again, but I don't want to say anything definitively. Because you know <laughs> they right. will. Alright, so now you just ferry everything across, across constantly forever. Oh, you don't want to be wasting more D-Webs. Oh, really? Yeah, you're gonna need them later for the songs. And you want to push south. But okay. getting those Hydras is fine. Oh, well, this is a pretty straightforward. I like it. It's very straightforward. It's just, like, just a little bit of multitasking. Some feel-good micro. Yeah. I generally pick macro stuff for you, but I felt that a little bit of micro would be good, especially because we're going to do Zerg stuff next, and Zerg isn't very micro heavy, except for when you go Mutus. Mm. I'm not talking ladder, guys. Don't get mad at me. I don't want your DMs. Because <laughs> you won't be careful with those goons. Yeah. Yeah. I've been lost a bit more than I should have. I know you're not used to playing Protoss, but the Hydra does counter everything that Protoss makes. <laughs> so I've heard. So Seems like you don't actually need that many probes here either. Yeah, I think you're right. So you're going to want to pull up and deweb on one of those sunks to take it out. Oh. Ooh. 
A lot hopefully. of a lot of those. Damn. Yeah, hopefully he didn't have energy. You need two D webs for the final push. And you probably want Oh more spores. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, that's gonna be much harder. You can still <laughs> do it. And you're not macroing or bringing him across. <laughs> Just a little bit of easy feel good micro, guys. <laughs> you're gonna want to bring the DTs across, and uh, because if you kill the thing, you've wasted mm -hmm. 1500 damage because it just respawns at full HP. Oh damn! You're doing all right though. For a Terran micro. Mm. Oh, the perfect timing. So then you're going to want to dive the last one, and there are two sunks at the top, and if you put a D-Web right between them, it'll hit both of them. If I had a Corsair, I would definitely do that. Oh, you don't have any? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Those things are tanky. Or, I mean, yeah, like, you're used to raids. How did this happen? Oh, I don't use raids, man. I'm not oh. a clown. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to need a lot more goons, then. Yeah. It's connected by land, right? No, this is a full island. Yeah, no, I mean um, the next base I have to kill. Yes, it is. It was right over to the left of where you were. Oh. Okay, so I went, like, the dumb way. I thought you were just buying time to get more goons, honestly. No. Okay. Or you were just really mad at the spores for killing your sares. Mildly disappointed at the spores. You might have enough now. I really don't know the math when there's two sunks. So you want to get the DTs on a hotkey together so you can be careful with them. Yeah. Then you're going to dive in, target down the Cerebrate, and just micro the heck out of the DTs so they don't die. Oh, yeah. so normally, yeah, I see what you mean. If you put the D-Web here, you block mm -hmm. that, and then you probably just don't even attack it, huh? Exactly. You just dive the Cerebrate. I don't think. Yeah, it... Okay. Well, <laughs> I get the concept. <laughs> Honestly, I may have picked this mission just so that when you cast ASL, you can feel a little bit worse for the Protoss to get Hydra busted. Uh, I will never. Alright, let's try this one again. All right. Wait, no, I told them I would go I told them I would do it. Oh. The they shuttle thing gets pretty tough. Oh, it's already it's already resolved because I went above eight minutes. Oh right. got it. What is the record on this one? Uh I will check. Remember, young Templar. Ceramics can be killed only by dark Templar weapons and energies. My brethren. It is 6 minutes and 46 seconds. Okay. Seems seems reasonable. Executor, our sensors show that the two Cerebrids are surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our Corsairs to compensate. Let's be honest though, the only reason you did bad is because of those lings that sniped your thing. It was out of your control. <laughs> it was completely. Nothing's my fault. I think you're right, though, that you don't need the extra stuff. Also, I don't know if you pulled off of gas, but I don't think you need three on gas after you get the robo. Because two-gate goon is pretty gas light. Oh, that's a, that's a good point, yeah. You're probably right about that. I'll have this guy patrol here. Sky Patrol here. Put my goons over here. Let's see. Goons are 50 gas, take 32 seconds, so you need 
100 gas per minute. It takes 20 seconds to do 100 gas, right? Mm -hmm. On three probes. So, one probe mining? But you need two gates. Did I do that right? Yeah. So it would be double that, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So two, so two probes. probes mining gas. Yeah. One probe on gas is non-stop goons. So two probes on gas is fine. Though, right, is, so I need is the that a good position of the gas? Yeah, that's actually fine placed, okay. Sorry, sometimes yeah. they're in the worst place ever. We're going to hit a mission later where you got to put five guys on gas. Damn. It's dumb. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take one guy off. We're going to stop probes. Is it range before gate? Uh, yes. He gets gate and on then I 39. Guess oh, they're coming from this side this time. And then I guess I'll probably go... I can probably take one more off gas for a little bit because that took a while. Right. So I think the big change here is be very defensive with the Sarahs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. Oh. You have two more goons that you can pick up, I think, yeah. Oh. That was so close. Well, it was a landing. We went a little <laughs> bit more D-Day than I was hoping, but it worked. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so you just want to pull the Hydras out as you can, take them down. So scared for that 4 HP shuttle. I know, I know. You gotta repair it. What? Okay, sure. So I think that's normally a drop that goes to your base and the DTs clean up. Ah, uh, so I just kind of aggroed it. Maybe I should unload a little bit further down to the south or something. Yeah. I think it was mostly the Sares that pissed him off, though. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't have a whole lot of practice with this mission. Web the song. Nicely done. I don't know why the you killed a D web sunk. Great. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think because that attack that was normally supposed to come to your base is gone, the DTs are fine to bring over. Yeah, 
You gotta be very careful about that. Uh, don't go too close to the songs, though. Yeah. And then you ready to do the big dive? I think so. There's two at the top that you can hit with one D web and one at the bottom. Careful about the DTs. They're gonna die. Oh fuck! It was close. Oh. I think he did really well. Besides that, you salvaged oh, a you. very difficult landing. Didn't take the damage, and honestly, pretty good. Damn. Okay. Okay. Slug, I love Brig. Thank you for the big tips, guys. Appreciate it. Everyone, check out Grant's stream. Uh, he is streaming this all right now as well, so check it out. Uh, follow him. It's important. Okay, what do we what do we do next? Okay, I, I, that's yeah. I, I'm starting to understand why people do speed running. Really, this is like this is itching the part of my brain that loves to just grind ladder games because mm -hmm. it feels like that, right? And there's like it's like making the single player an enemy because it's so I can like beat all the missions obviously with like fucking one hand right yeah, and do exactly anything i want to win so it's like boring to play a lot of people ask me if i play it but like with this yeah it's i feel like i really thing. i get it yeah it's like oh i can actually make this so hard to do like beating that really quickly it's like yeah you got to micro that perfectly you gotta make sure you don't aggro anything you got to make sure that all your micro and macro is flawless so, for the next mission, do you want to do the ultimate macro mission ever, or do you want to do Muta Micro? Macro mission. Alright, so you're going to hit Brood War, and then it's going to be mission yep. four of Zerg. From Zerg? Yeah. Okay. The Liberation of Core Hall. So, your build order here is Hatchery, 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 Hatchery. <laughs> So, five hatch? Yes. You're going to go okay. up to nine hatch there because you start out... Uh, your intro minerals is a little bit high. You're floating a bit. Oh, my God. Yeah, your macro oh, so is you just bad. make hatcheries out of everything. And uh, no, you got to make everything. one gas. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and what is the thought process? You're just overwhelming, right? So, what you're going to do first is you're going to take your army to the north, and then there's a ramp and to attack down some bunkers that are right there for your expansion. At that point, oh, you are going you. to... 10,000 minerals is not enough to beat this mission. It's generally like 25,000-ish resources oh, you need. So, you are going okay. to... Oh, yeah, you got to make two sunks real quick, uh, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is My screen is really pixelated for you. I hope it fixes soon but oh is it yeah it's, i don't think it's your fault maybe i'm moving around too much <laughs> just do no i think it's uh discord being discord ah uh. so you're gonna go up there you're going to grab the base and then you're gonna fully saturate both bases real hard you're going mm -hmm. to get all your upgrades and your tech while you build out a bajillion zerglings and then you're going to switch into hydras and go huge hydraling energy and just okay swarm your way across the map with adrenal lings plus hydras of support, a lot of overlords to spot because there are a ton of lurkers around. Mm -hmm. And oh, you're going okay. to swing up the top area of the map, and then you're mm -hmm. going to go down into the white base, and then at the end, your rally is going to take out that little outpost in the south middle. This one right here? No, to the right of that. Oh, this one here? Yeah, this one. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but eventually you're going to have so many cracklings that it won't matter. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so it, what is the record time on this? All right. Uh, does anybody know in my chat? I'm sure they do. Because I think the record holder's in my chat. Oh, really? <laughs> Sick. And is this one where you get any evolution chamber upgrades? Uh, it is 1028. Yeah, you're going to get 1-1, one, one, and then you're going to get one, two on ranged. So you're going to get melee carapace and then you're going to get... No, wait. I have it in the notes. Melee carapace, ranged melee, I think it maybe? might be melee ranged and then ranged carapace. Oh, okay. Cool. And that's 
Let's try you're it. You're going to get a lair ASAP, and then you're going to go into Hive, and you're going to get all the Hydra, all the Ling upgrades, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm getting confirmation, I think, that it's both attack and then ranged carapace. Cool. Okay, I am ready. All right. This one looks really fun. This is my type of mission, I think. Faster, faster, hatch, 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 sunk, sunk, one gas. Ah! <laughs> hatch, hatch, hatch. Third is such a hard race. Spend that money. And then send that army up north. Because you need an expansion, you're running out of cash. So uh, for your first drones, you're going to turn them into Evo Chambers and Hydra Den. And then just keep making lots of drones until you are super saturated. Congratulations, you have all the infrastructure you'll ever need. And put your first three guys onto gas now. Because you can work off those minerals for quite a long time. So you want to be careful with the push down into the expansion. You can't really afford to lose that. Like, you can lose the army, but if they don't win, you're in bad shape. Mm -hmm. And there's three bunkers full of marines. So once you have the money and the evos are finished, you're going to start 1-1. One, one. And then uh, you got the lair on the way. Good. So link speed. You're going to want to start bringing a drone up so that you can take that expansion once it's clear. But be careful to bring him up to that ramp, otherwise he'll pass somewhere dumb and get killed. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, I am terrible. Fuck. Yeah, I think you want to hit the left one first. So the if you want to salvage here, you can just... Yeah, you want to go top and then left and then bottom when it comes to targeting down the bunks. You can just make a bunch of links and flood over it if you want. Yeah. yeah Hydra speed... Ling speed, Queen's Nest. I actually don't even know the hockeys I have set for some of these fucking <laughs> things right now. <laughs> it's always so weird. I played Warcraft 2 recently, though, and it makes Brood War hotkeys look brilliant. Hmm. Uh, what do you think the hotkey for Troll Berserker is? Z. It's A. Because <laughs> you gotta build a troll berserker. Makes perfect sense. Alright, so you're gonna saturate that up, and then you are going to smash. Which is like infinity units. But you're not going to want to push for a long time because you need, obviously, a huge army. I would say that 150 supply is your good to go, Mark. Oh, yeah, be careful about the rally. Oh, that's the dumb pathing. Okay. Yeah. The, oh, the that's funny. Yeah, because I was actually, enemy. I just reset all my rallies and mm -hmm. they are not. Oh, do you have a hive on the way? I thought I did. Perfect. So yeah, basically from here, it's saturate the base, and then you're going to just keep making lings once you're saturated until you have all your upgrades going, and then your gas can go to hydras. Okay. And once your hive is done, you need to get OV speed. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. And try to let the sunks do what they can for defense. I think they're hitting a hatch, though. Oh. Attack 2 and Carapace were the next ones, right? Yes. And those are going to be the only upgrades you get because you won't be able to afford anything more. Because upgrades in StarCraft 1 take literally eternity. Hmm. Yes. 
Yeah, you can kill that little area as long as you don't go too far. I was wondering if I can just kill off this right here, because then I can actually set some good rallies. I think you can, but it just... The base keeps going, that's the big problem. All the way across the map. You're also, like, losing your nap. Uh oh. Oh, Shit. those... Yeah, you're... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Where'd all my units go? Damn. Dude, it's hard to even attack move all these units. This is crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. If you're not a pro Zerg player, most of your time is going to be spent just grabbing units and sending them. I just heard a plague. So you do have to resaturate that. Oh, oh. No. Oh, come on, fire bat. Where the fuck are my units are so bad? <laughs> Look at this guy, I five kills, poor health. My god. <laughs> I promise I feel bad for you. I don't think you want to push there, I'll be honest. You kind of need the Hydra support and Adrenaline stuff. Just... Uh-oh. He's gone off the oh, rails. Shit. He's not listening to me. Oh, no. The blue units aren't listening to me. The pathing is so weird here. There's... Fuck. We got to finish what we started. It never ends. You have to believe me. There's just more base. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, overlord speed. That's what we were missing. Everything's gonna be fine now. Whew. That is a good place to put all your rallies, though. I'll give you that. <laughs> Sorry, this is just a technical question for myself, but you said a screen hotkey, and that's how you do your rallies? Yeah. So okay, cool. if you do F2, F3, you can, like, you can get really fast at switching rallies. It's pretty crazy. Nice. That's always been one of those things as a fairly casual Brood War player that I've been horrible at. It's really good info. Yeah, the other way you can do it is with, uh, like... Problem is, when you set the rallies, you want to set generally, and this is like a really high level thing to say, but you want to set them where you don't have any units yet. So you want it to be like a fresh location, because if you click on a unit, right. all the units will rally to that unit, and if it dies somewhere on the map, they'll all rally to where it died. There's going to be lurkers so that up becomes here, by the problem. Way. Be careful. Huh? There's going to be lurkers up here. Okay. Just, I, I don't want you to be super surprised. No, that's really good information. Thank you. And, um... Oh. Let me see. Where's my overlords at? Oh, yeah. And the other way to do it is you just reset all your hotkeys with it, basically. Like, sometimes if I have a lot of units in an area and I know I can't do the... Because, look, if I go like this... I'm like, oh shit, I clicked that, and then I gotta re-click. Right. And the thing is, you're doing it so automatically, like this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that sometimes it's better to just go control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you go over here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just right-click. Oh. Oh, this is good. So yeah, the rest of this mission is basically you barreling down across the map with infinity stuff and hoping you don't run out. Try to snipe lurkers and guardians and tanks with your hydras. 
if you can, but most importantly is just making sure everyone's on the way. Also, drop a Nidus in your main. Because there's going to be a Gazerg stuff coming up, and being able to plop it on their creep is good. Then you can just set all your rallies into the Nidus. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at my notes, and I was actually wrong. You get plus two melee, not plus two range. But it shouldn't make a big difference. Uh, yeah. It, the uh, melee upgrade for Zerglings is, like, statistically the best attack upgrade with carrier attacks. It, like, it's yeah. plus 20% damage output the first one, which is just so insane. <laughs> it's pretty good. And a lot of it is just cleaning up buildings at the end so that you can move on to the next base. So Hydras are not great at that. So you're getting into a Zerg base next, and that's where there's going to be a lot of Guardians and a lot of Lurkers. And that plotch of, that splotch of creep right there, if you toss your Nidus there, then your rally mm -hmm. will be much easier. As far left as you can get it. Uh, okay, maybe not that base. Uh, there was supposed to be creep a little bit farther to the left, but I think you killed it and it receded already. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. All forces are under attack. I feel like you have a lot of stuff chilling in the middle of the map. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. That's okay, it's going to make the next fight better, because the next base is really hard. It's like Lurker Siege Tank High Ground. Oh, and Spider Mines, of course. So you're going to push into white and make sure you have detection. Yep, I do have some Overlords here. That's a bit slow. You might get cleaned up here, which is pretty common. Yeah, you're gonna have to pull back and regroup. Probably wait until about 140 supply. Yeah, maybe you got oh, really? it. I don't know. It just this isn't just a front defense. It goes all the way through the base. Mm. So having a big push is pretty good. Actually, running out of money. <laughs> That's crazy. It's it's a cool mission. Honestly, I really like just macro, macro, macro. But yeah. I, oh, oh, I ran out of minerals. Yeah. You can, That's why. I was like, damn, man. Yeah, if you need the base, you can take it. There's a bunch on this mission. Huh. Oh, that's funny. I actually just kind of assumed that wouldn't occur. Oh, I'm getting the double audio again. I hope it fixes itself. Really? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Why not? I'm going to assume that it fixes uh, itself just like last time. I'll try to click on something after. Hold on. Well, it's back to normal. Really? No, nope, no, nope, I lied. Is. Never mind. <laughs> Perfect. He makes your tank on high ground. There's nothing fucking scary in the whole world than that. Holy shit. That'll kill a thousand Hydras. Is Easily. the double audio the uh, game only? Yeah, it's just the game. Okay. Well, now I have, like... Damn, this is actually hard to finish now, because I've... Yeah, you've run out of the momentum. Up. 
the base yeah. that you lost at the beginning w was really painful. Hmm. And every building needs to be killed in this one, right? Yes. All right, I want to try this one again. Do we still have... Okay, hold on. Let me fix this fucking double audio for you. Figure this out. Why would that be? Uh... Mic just mic. Oh, okay. So my mic into this would be chat only. Then chat should be mic only. Hello? Hey. Do you do you still have the double sound? Uh we need to get into a game for me to tell, but the music seems okay. Okay. Uh Zerg four, right? Yes. You know, real professional hotkey or er, real professional speedrunners artosis use the hotkeys for the menus, you casual clicker. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta press S. <laughs> <laughs> Flash would use menu hotkeys. You have the double sound? No, no double sound. Okay, I have no idea. I don't either. Double sunk. Perfect. If you mess up the sunk, you just get wrecked. Mm. The ultra comes in and kills all your workers. So, Evo, Evo, Hydra down. And layer. And then everybody on, or three guys on gas. I'm gonna see if I can take this one down a little bit more efficiently. So hit the left bunker next. Okay. And you do got to target fire the bunkers because the ultras think that the mm. turrets are of national importance. <laughs> okay, that went much better. Yeah, that was great. We need a fourth on gas on that geyser. You might. It doesn't yeah. hurt when you have 57 workers or whatever you end up with. Yeah. I'm going to send a couple overlords up here because they brought lurkers last time. Right. Uh, Queen's Nest, nice. yes. So you are basically at the place where it is upgrades and then macro to 150-ish. Oh, you probably want to kite them over to the sunks if you can. Usually the oh, nice. hatches are built a bit to the north instead of to the west, and that helps with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't actually think you lost anything. Yeah, like two drones maybe. Yeah, it's fine. Overlords. 
And this time, your life is going to go a lot more smoothly because you're going to have these gas geysers. Yeah. I should get my upgrades to really go on. Hive is already on the way. Now, where am I rallying? How? Where is my attack move path? Is it down here? Your attack move path? Well, you want to... around. The, the way that you went last time was correct. You just kind of go up the top side of the map. So pooling mm -hmm. to the slightly northwest of your hatches right now is good. And then once you, as you clear areas, you just move your rally forward. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons you get that Nidus eventually is because it makes it easier. So should I start clearing no. stuff or do I wait? No. You gotta wait until you have uh, overlord speed and a decent number of hydras. Because you will clear through stuff right now, but it won't be efficient enough. You need to kind of be one giant wave all the way to the top left side of the map. Okay. You can't lose the momentum. I'm making overlords out of that top hatch. That's a good optimization. It's like a worse, yeah, it's worse rally. I don't want to reset the rally on that one. Yeah, so here's the lurker attack. It's coming to your main this time. Very nice. I'm starting to get a good amount of hydras. You have OB speed on the way, right? Yep. Great. Oh, if you can take out the filer down, it'd be good. They sometimes retreat them, I think. Oh, you got it. Yeah, OB speed almost done. I don't think you want to go much farther than this now. Uh, get your Nidus. So I basically want the Nidus there. Uh, you want it a little bit right? to the left. There's going to be another creep thing. I think it's a little bit past the halfway point. Okay. Let's clear this area then. Also going to build a hatch over here. You won't have to take that base if you do it right. Oh, okay. You'll never mine out if you're fast enough. I forgot to get adrenal. Oh, that's a big loss. So I want it like right about here, right? The Nidus. Yeah, you can toss the Nidus down there. Whatever makes your rallying easiest. Thank you. So there's going to be a little bit of a natural gap in between this blue base and then the final Zerg base, and you can use that time mm -hmm. to kind of get all your stuff together and make sure that you hit as one giant force against the Zerg base. Okay. Last I'm time... I'm smacked out. It's going a lot better. Oh, yeah, you're doing great. You just want to be very careful because they do have those lurkers that are burrowed, and last time, I think mm -hmm. a couple of the lurkers got like 50, 60 link kills. <laughs> that would be normal, yeah. <laughs> it's too bad we can't actually get to lurkers in professional ZVZ. <laughs> yeah. That would be a lot more interesting, I think. No, I really like having two drones and 57 Zerglings toward me. <laughs> I know, right? It's great. So whenever you feel comfortable, you can make that big push. Pro uh, start rallying your attack guys from the back of your army first. Mm -hmm. I know that's like simple stuff, but it's easy to forget when you're doing everything. Okay. Here, lurker. 
forces are under attack. This is a good attack. My overlords are still here. Our forces are under attack. Damn, it's a lot of units. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would be so easy if it was like unlimited unit selection. I'd kill this mission in fucking two seconds. <laughs> but this is like that attack moving is the hardest part. It really is. Oh, this is going phenomenally. So then that final base is going to be a problem. You're going to rally wings at the end so that you can get that center bottom base while you are killing the bottom left. Your time's actually great, by the way. Like, really, really good. And if you can snipe the tanks. I mean, I know it's high ground, so it's impossible. <laughs> but at least they didn't dematrix it this time. Yeah. All right, so I have to start thinking about uh, taking out that little blue area, right? Yes. And there's lurkers right there. Be careful. There's like three of them. Okay. I think they're right past those turrets. If I remember correctly. And they haven't done something dumb. Uh, maybe not today. You may have accidentally killed the lurkers earlier, which is really good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those ultras have never done anything. They're really <laughs> mascot ultras that you just rally to the back. Yeah, so the sunks are really the only part that is difficult there. But you've got this. Uh, make sure you move this army a little bit to the right. There's just a bunch of random static defense to the right of where you are. Oh, yeah. Let's see. All forces are under attack. The high cluster is under attack. And then check the bottom left to make sure that you're attacking everything there. Oh, yep, you got it. The dropship does not matter. It's just buildings. Okay. And I think that's the whole I map. think right above right. your... A little bit to the left, above the Hydra, there's a white spot. Right there. There you go. Nice. Uh, you can... 1154. 1154 <laughs> is about two minutes over world record. But that's still very good for a second try. All right. So do you want to move on to Mutamicro? Sure. Let's go. All right. I don't know if you can actually exit out of this. They're just going to talk for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got to listen to whatever Edmund has to say to me. In theory, if you're really fast, you can hit F10 and before the dialogue starts, and then you can exit out. But as soon as it starts... <laughs> So we're going to go back to base StarCraft. Okay. And then it's mission right, number one. three of Zerg. Good. This one is really easy conceptually. It's just Muta Micro against okay. like a million billion Marines. So uh, start. Oh, yeah, play. I keep thinking you just start playing. Yeah, Black Sheep Wall. Uh -huh. Terran base at the start. Well, first thing to look at is that in the middle, there's kind of a base. You're going to take your Hydras and your Mutas up there, and you are going to clear it out without taking much damage on the Mutas so that you can take your base pretty quick. 
This one right here? That one right there. Okay. So, I mean, you don't start with an economy, unfortunately, which means you can't take the base that quick. Damn. Yeah, look at that. You can't lose that chrysalis, but you'll never lose it. Uh, so the easiest way to take that fight is to bait him out. And you'll always want to keep four mutas alive for the early bit because the AI will stim, so you can four muta plus stim to pop marines in one shot. Oh, nice. Okay. And then what you're going to do after you clear that is you just keep droning for a while up to like 20-ish. And while you do that, you get all of your mutas in mid, and the AI is going to build up an attack right in that kind of area is where they're going to try to build up their forces, and you're just going to constantly okay. muta harass them. Take all of their stuff out, because they want to build up mm -hmm. an attack wave, and you don't want them to do that. Okay. While you're doing... Oh, yeah. Yeah, while you're doing okay. that, you're going to tech up to... Or you're going to get your eco going, which takes quite a while. And then you're going mm -hmm. to take an expansion, get a gas geyser. You're going to tech up to spire. Then you... uh. What do you do after Spire? Oh yeah, you make Mutas, duh. You get Mutas and plus <laughs> one. <laughs> and then if you look at the top right of the map, that is the least defended area. So what you're gonna mm -hmm. do is, if you pan down a little bit to the ramp, you're gonna kind of poke up, a, go up the ramp, poke in, try to kill the wraiths, pull all the uh, Marines that are in the bunkers and stuff are gonna try to kill you. You're gonna pull back mm -hmm. and just micro them, try to kill all the Marines. Then you're going to move to the left with your mutas, and you're going to try to take out the production. Once you've taken out the production, you can then get a bunch of speedlings and come up and clean everything else out. But honestly, okay. it's all about, you're going to have, what is it, uh, 10 mutas versus like mm -hmm. 23 one, one marines with stim. And you just Damn. have to play really well. Uh, I do not have good mutalist micro, but we will try it. <laughs> yeah, I can't give you tips on that, but I assume... I know you use patrol, right? Maybe? Sometimes? Uh, I honestly don't ever play mutalist micro. I used to know how to do it kind of a little bit. I think you can but, kind yeah, of do it the same right. way as uh, vulture patrol micro. Mm. You just got to make sure that you're constantly switching out your overlords. Oh, overlords go on the bottom left because that's the farthest away point. Okay. So you can keep one in your control group. I gotta say, if it, there's one that's like this one, if you gave this to a Korean pro Zerg... I would love to see it. Like, Korean pro Zergs at this point, like, you gave the best, one of the more aggro Zerg players, like Soma or Queen or something, 11 mutas here, you mm -hmm. could probably kill everything super fast. It would be a treat to see. You gotta be careful because they will reset pretty quick. Also, mutas are made out of paper. Very nice. Alright, did you lose any hydras? You did. Okay, you lost one hydro, which means you're gonna go for a 20 hatch. Ah! I'm s oh, I just can't fucking mute this micro at all. This is exactly not what my skill set is. All right. <laughs> you told me to pick oh some missions where a chat could laugh at you. God. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're not trying that one again. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, I need no. to spend a month mutilist microing. That is insane. Um. <laughs> All right, all right, what's next? <laughs> okay, we got one more mission before we jump into trying the big push for world record. Let's go back to Brood War. Okay. I hope you're comfortable playing Zerg against Reavers. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can overwhelm Reavers, I can do that. Okay. And this is going to be, oh, what mission is this? It's called The Reckoning. I think it's mission nine. There we go. Nine. So this one's going to be a little bit different, because we're cheesing. Nice. So you have 30 minutes to beat this base. You think you can do it? Uh, you don't, yeah, so you don't have to care about the blue, or you don't have to care about yet, or white at all. It's just some Terran base. Uh, they'll attack into your sunks every once in a while and die. 
Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is you got to kill Blue. And the way we're going to do it is you're going to start by researching drop ASAP, and then you're going to proxy hatch on their side and build a Nidus. And then you're going to do, okay. like, a one base, <gasps> two hatch, oh. proxy Nidus push using the Guardians that you start with in order to snipe the Reavers as you put on Hydro Pressure to clear everything out. Okay, so rush to drop to get a proxy and that... You could actually technically walk there, right? You can, and yeah, you don't want to fight fun. that front line because all the Reavers pull yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It's a mess. Got you. What do I have to kill to win? The buildings. Just every building? Blue buildings. Okay. Okay. And does this matter at all, the Stasis Cell Prison? Uh, no, that's a cinematic thing at the end. Oh, okay. Cool. Only and if you care about the guards? fate of the Matriarch. <laughs> you certainly do not. Right, oh, so there's just one really important drop. thing I have. Yeah, you start with drop ASAP. I'll give you the build order as you go. You're going to bring the Guardians over to the right and start harassing instantly. You see those cannons on the high ground next to the weird objective thing? Yeah. Uh, you're going to clear that out, but do not fight with your Guardians over a place that their ground units cannot reach, because if you do, a very angry carrier will come and kill you. Oh, Okay. So, so you, I basically uh, want the Guardians to stand here so that gar ground units will come up. Yeah, basically. And pick okay. off what you can. It's not that hard, but the angry carrier can ruin your day, as okay. it always does. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, this seems this seems very doable. All right, uh, hold on one second. I have to pee really bad. No so problem. I will BRB, okay? One sec. Hey, Artos, this is chat. How are you guys going? Are you having a good day? I hope you are. Are you aware that Giant Grant Games is doing a 24-hour, all 147 StarCraft II missions speedrun on June 19th through 20th? From noon to noon Pacific Standard Time? If you weren't aware of that, you should be now. You should come check it out. You're obviously here, and you're obviously enjoying the stream. It's going to be a lot. So I hope to see you there. I'm using my most sultry voice for you because I really like you. And I really want you to come. Wow, I shouldn't have said it like that. Oh, man. Whoa! <laughs> um, uh, no. I really want you to show up and enjoy yourself. Oh, goodness. No, it's going to be a great time, and I hope anybody who's interested comes and shows up. Uh, there's a lot of missions. There's not as much cheesy stuff that I'm showing Artosis right now, but I'll be able to show the full breadth of everything, and my inexperience as a StarCraft 1 player will shine through incredibly well. And you'll be able to come back to these VODs and be like, Man, Artosis did this on the second try, and this idiot has been learning these for months, and he can't do it as well. <laughs> It'll be great. All right. What's up? <laughs> Welcome back. Are we talking about me? I heard this idiot. <laughs> no, I was talking... I was advertising my 24-hour stream and how they're going to come and watch me, and you're go, er, they're going to see, wow, this guy's been working on it for months, and Artosis got the same time on his third try. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think you'll... You'll beat mine. I think I'll do an okay job on the actual mission we're going to try. Yeah, I do too. still have plenty of time. But I don't get resets, that's the thing, because I have to do them all in 24 hours. So if I mess up mm. once, I just have to keep going. All right, drop a ASAP. And then your first three drones go into gas, but not like starting drones. The first three you build. Uh, Guardians go to the right. I think you got that. Mm-hmm. And then the only thing that really matters as you saturate up is the order that you spend your gas. You can ignore the attack wave. First thing that you buy is Hydra Speed. Okay. Oh, and you gotta be careful with the Guardians because they only kind of outrange cannons. Yeah. They, they're like a unit that glides a little bit while it attacks, too. So. Yeah. 
And then uh, you're going to want to grab your army and your OVs and bring them to the right-hand side so that you can be prepared to drop ASAP, because you don't get overlord speed here. And the hatch placement does not really matter as long as it's fairly far back. Just enough to not piss off the Zerg. And I have no idea how long drop takes. I know it takes forever. Yeah, just keep clearing what you can. And then, uh, do you have Hydra Speed on the way? Oh, no. Uh, where's my dad? What is this placement? <laughs> and then you're going to get a Muta. And that's going to turn into a Guardian. That's all you can afford. Ah, uh, okay. So after you take down those buildings, you're only going to want to pressure on the bottom side. Okay. Can I kill this one without aggroing the carrier? I'm pretty sure. I think the carrier comes once the hatch is down. I'm not entirely sure about it. And then you start your Nidus. Right between the hatches is good. Because then you can just rally into it. Okay, so we feared that. Do you have your extra muta? Make him now. That's a now little do bit I slow, start pushing? Uh, you're just going to poke with the guardian and be careful. Just take out what you can. If you can hit some reavers and stuff, that's optimal. Uh, apparently they can't see your screen on your stream. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Standard artosis, man. Hey, guys, if you like watching not seeing the screen, then I... Oh, no! You might need another Muta. Yeah, it's a very technical kind of push, but that was a... Uh, uh, losing the Guardian really hurts. So you can basically just push Hydras out at this point. Try to kill what you can. You are somewhat on a time limit here. I don't exactly know what the time limit is. However... They will eventually finish their storm upgrade and maelstrom, at which point your life becomes a lot worse. But if you're fast enough, mm. then they'll have Derpy Templar that don't do anything. Oh my god, I lost another one. Protoss, am I right? Oh no. God. So if you can kill that Reaver. Oh, they got DTs. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> I mean, it should be obvious. It's Protoss. Hmm. Can't live without it. God, I'm fucking bad. Uh, you can dive the Reavers if you want. DTs, all right. I think you can pick that one off. All forces are under attack. 
Oh. I think that's the last reaver. If you can... You can kill the cannons in like two shots. And then if you can pressure the robo, they won't be able to make any more. I want to try this one again. Yeah. I have a much better feel for how to do that now. It's definitely one of those ones that cascades out of control if they get a couple good reaver shots. Oh, hey, guess what? There's apparently no official runs for this mission on the leaderboard for this mission only, so you're going to get world record just by default. Oh, no shit. Really? <laughs> People All don't right. do individual level runs of Brood War very much, so... All right, guys. You're watching the champ here. Okay, so we want... We already have drop going. We're going to get Hydra Speed. Drone over. Uh, after Hydra Speed, you want the Muta for Guardian number three. So. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I was live locked or something. Come on. So bad. I think you got the Nidus first, which messed up the. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure the OVs stay over there because the DTs will ruin your day. Point. And you should just be full units at this point. That's good. So your focus now above everything else is getting those three reavers. And then once the three reavers are down, you can send everything in and just YOLO it and you'll be fine.
Fucking dumb guardian, come on. Ugh. Yeah, I think what happened there is if it had been Hatch Nidus, then you would have had everything there and you would have just slaughtered it. Yeah. If you can get that Reaver, though, I think you're still moderately okay. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> Listen, Scout's got to get kills eventually. I feel bad for them normally. All forces are under attack. Yeah, I think you're good to just lean on them now. There's the angry carrier. I think it's like six carriers, or six uh, hydras to beat a carrier. So you can probably, oh. I think so. These are numbers I just do not know. I don't either, I've just been told them by Zerg players. this it's just gonna be clean up at this point at the bottom right there's going to be a decent number of defenders so you got to watch out for that but it's not gonna be anything that bad I think there might be one more reaver over there oh, I forgot hydra range oh like, why am I not killing that carrier in two seconds hmm. Did he just probe drop you? Yes, he did. <laughs> nice. So you're definitely slowed down by losing the Guardians, but I think the push after that went pretty darn well. Yeah, it seems like a very simple mission. It's just like master a, the build order a little bit and how to right. lure out the Reavers and you got it. Yeah, you're about a minute 30 slower than what you should have been, but that can definitely be fixed. There you go. You Not got bad. it. Not bad. And I, I don't think you can skip it, unfortunately. Oh! Wow. I don't want to spoil you on the plot. I'm really sorry. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Aragon and Zeratul become enemies? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, but watch what happens now. It's going to be absurd. You won't believe it. Didn't see that coming, did ya? No, damn. You've killed your own matriarch. Better that I kill her than let her live as your slave, Kerrigan. Well, I have misjudged you, warrior. You are worthy indeed. You are free to go. What? I said you are free to go. <laughs> it just keeps going. I'll let you live because I know that from now on your every waking moment will be torture. You'll never be able to forgive yourself for what I've forced you to do. And that, Zeratul, is a better revenge than I I don't ever recall Rastigal mentioned at all. That's because you know, like StarCraft 2, so I think he forgets about it. I think he's fine. <laughs> Bonus oh, you, level activated. Yeah, you gotta beat this mission with five minutes remaining or more to get the bonus level. You did it. 
I just, I did it. I feel so good. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to try the, um. We are ready. To actually break a world record now? We are. Okay. You gotta go one more back. Yeah. Because this menu is, it shows its age. <laughs> so this one was, wait, which one was this one? Number eight. Is it Desperate Alliance? Oh, eight. No, you don't want to do Desperate Alliance. It is the easiest <laughs> mission ever, and it's a 30-minute time defense mission that you can't skip. Oh, yeah. That's the one where the Zerg are trying to kill you before Manx brings dropships, right? Yeah, it sucks. I remember that was the mission that really showed me the difference in my skill level. When I when I started Brood War, when I first when I started playing StarCraft 1, I first beat that mission. I had, like, one floating burning eBay when I won. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I played it, like, a couple years later in, like, 2001. And just killed the entire Zerg in like seven minutes or something with free medic. Uh, fun free fact, order. that mission is the only mission that is faster to speedrun on StarCraft 64. No Be shit. Because they made it so if you kill all the buildings on the map, it just ends. Wow, that's crazy. I have StarCraft 64, maybe I should do that sometime. <laughs> Don't torture yourself, man. It's yeah, already I StarCraft I 1. I know. Commander. Okay, so what was the time that we're looking for here? Uh, 10 minute and uh, 6 seconds. Excellent. I think you can get sub 10. So how do you want me to do this? Do you want me to let you focus, or do you want me to, like, remind you when you miss things, or...? Um, I guess for this first little go... Uh, let me focus a little bit, and then we'll talk about it, I think. Sounds great. Of course, you can talk some shit to me in your chat. Hang on, we're in for some chop. I copy that. Buckle up. Hang on, we're in for some chop. I've got all day. What? Your forces are under attack. Orders, Captain? Go ahead, HQ. Strap yourself in, boys. Decisive action. Input coordinates. Go ahead, HQ. What? Your forces are under attack. I'm here. Destination? What? Just we need you to go, sir. Unacceptable. Ah! Input sense. coordinates. Hang on, Shut we're up. in the shop. Go ahead, Mr. Input coordinates. Trans Shit. Make up your mind. Stand in ghost Not enough energy. That's the worst scenario. Oh, my fucking macro is way off. You do want your gas soon. Should work. Yeah. Minerals. 
Okay, so I think I've been already like way too sloppy. What, yeah, what time did they kill all Brown at? Uh, Brown was well, all of their s they kind of started leaving with the BC and some of the tanks at 520, which is way slower than you. However, I think that it was slower because you were more aggressive and you traded units. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to retry So one thing one. I was thinking of, you know, the area above the high ground, what mm -hmm. if that's kind of, instead of the bunker area, what if you kind of pushed in with the ground forces over there? Because that oh, bunker area kind of, it's tough to get past. You're mm. like juggling the fire bats and all that kind of stuff and they act really weird. Yeah, it aggro's the wraiths pretty quickly as well. As long as I steer clear of this bunker here, yeah, I should be able to go up this line and kill stuff, and maybe then I'll have a bigger mass to kill the center with. And I think at any point that you see you can take down that factory, that is the most important thing to do. Because the yeah, goliaths are the only points, thing that right? scare you. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. squad would never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Yes, sir? So the slowest thing is actually the CCs. Yeah. So I feel like maybe I should adjust my clicking. Yeah, I, th I think that moving the BC first is always correct because in a world record run, it should never stop fighting. So yeah. getting it into the fight as fast as possible, then the BC, or then the CCs. Oh, I'm just fucking already, I'm like, actually an idiot. I w oh. Whoa. Oh. That's I a lot of Goliaths. Yeah, Damn. I think you have to drop on the high ground first, but then you can use the yeah. dropship to bring them to the low ground when you want to start pushing. So that you can avoid mm -hmm. the stairs, you can avoid the bunkers. Okay, right, let's go. What? Can I read you? Yes, sir? I'm here. Can I read you? Input coordinates. Well. Bring this over. What? I'm listening in the five, 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 five. I haven't got all day. I can't believe this. Half a squad would never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Finally. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Your forces are under attack. Ah, uh, fucker. Destination, buckle up. Call the shot. Make up your mind. Just let that grind that for a minute. Destination. Okay, so we got two dropship. Send one in. Let's hope that doesn't pull the ray. Destination. Yes, 
forces are under attack. Yes, sir. I like that position a lot. I'm gonna stop the wreath in here doing some damage. Alright, I wanna bring a couple of SCBs. Your gas is done. Anything in there? No. I think they pulled everything out already. If you're looking for another Yamato target, there is another turret near the CC. But I don't know if it matters. The thing is, with the Marines, I feel like I should hit a unit. Yeah, I agree. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna slow down on SCV production a little bit. Yeah, I think it's tank right? time soon. I guess you're going bio first, yeah. That was the adjustment. Land this. So that it once the racks goes down, that is basically all their production. You can start moving to the right with the BC to clear mm. the orange high ground stuff. I didn't make my academy. I guess I didn't make. You tried. <laughs> you can take that bunker for a long time. You take a damage from it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think the real big time saves you can get is just knowing exactly how aggressive you can be with the BC. Hmm. <clears throat> My fingers just automatically make BCs when I have my hockey set up. It's like, like I'm overproducing that slightly. Mm. Yeah, because those mineral fields, they're not all even. Some run out pretty quick. If you have any random SCVs, you could drop two of them to the BC and heal it. Nice catch. Where's my SCVs? Destination. I'm listening. 
I think this is where you were saying a good siege is. I think it's a ramp to the north. I actually have no idea what that is. Oh. Okay, you're right. Yeah, free fire bots. I'm a little bit concerned about two tanks, but we might be able to make it work. Yeah, I think I was a little bit slow on that tank production. I think you can afford two fact tanks when you start, if you're going to be banking up this much gas. Mm. Never mind, one tank is fine. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> That's right, tanks can't shoot air. You'll right, Starcraft so, tips from Artosis. I think I think the uh I need to land my command centers a little bit more quickly. I think the beginning of here got a little bit better. Your but my production Brown's... is janky. Yeah, the time it took you to take out Brown's production structures was world record pace. It was oh, after really? that okay. that things started falling apart. Okay. And I think okay. it's partially just having I think part of it is that are you investing into units on the racks before Brown is dead? I think it might... No. Okay. It, you might it be good? overproducing SCVs as well. Yeah, that's... I think that's the main issue here is I'm... Because, like, I automatically make SCVs, but that slows build orders so much. You can speed everything up a lot if you just cut. Yeah, if you can get the infrastructure up faster, you're going to be in real good shape. So, mm -hmm. for perspective, the... VOD that I used to learn off of can afford two fact four racks production. And you obviously mm -hmm. can afford way more than that with what you have. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough balance though. Can we All look right. at your minerals for a sec? Like just how many are mined yeah. out? A lot. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have too many. Um kind of hard to de decide how many to put in there. Yeah, we should probably just draw a point and declare that you stop SCV production there and then kind of adjust it. Sorry, sorry. They say that one more time. My wife uh, walked in and talked to me. Oh, yeah. We should get a point where we just declare you stop building SCVs here and then we mm -hmm. can adjust it from game to game to hit the sweet spot. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um... Okay, so let's see here. On the original patches, I'm trying to think of how much is a really solid economy. So if we want two factory, and let me count how many I actually have right now. So 11. So 24, 27, plus two builders, plus two repairers. Uh, so I have like 31 SCVs here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll go up to like, yeah, because that's where it starts getting up to the numbers. See, my brain is completely trained for like, I know I'm going to need more expansions and stuff. And like, I need to continue to produce this off 1500 mineral patches. And so maybe if I go to like 20 or something, 22. That pro that sounds pretty good. You got to take the two base protest mentality. Yeah. <laughs> Never expand. Yeah. All right. Uh, restart. Here we go. The beginning, though, was really solid. The rates, I'm going to find a location and just put them on hold position. I like that idea. Okay, so... Because I'm definitely micring. 
them a little bit too much. It's too much of my attention. I think the only time you 100% need them is to fight the enemy raids. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I'm gonna hold position them, like, right about there. Oh no. A little bit slow on all that. It's okay, it's practice run. Okay, I want to hold position these right up here. That's good. Oh, we forgot these, but that's okay. I wasn't going to produce yet anyways. Funny, they all want to attack the fucking marines out there. Yeah, I think that was really helpful. Back grab a couple SCVs. I want my gas. What is going on here? Oh. down on some of that. Guess this guy should go over here now. I should go tank. I think that's why they go tank early is because you get the less SCVs. If that makes sense. What do you mean? Well, you you have less of an economy to go off of mineral-wise, right? So the tank is gas-heavy. It kind of balances mm, out when you start true. that production. Yeah, because you always have the same gas income. Oh, is there still another production? There is one Rax that's really far to the left. And your cleanup crew just kind of kills the guys that come out of it one at a time. Ah. Thank you. 
Enemy forces are under attack. Additional supply details required. Like I'm getting a much better feel for it this time. Definitely, I think even this time I overmade SCVs. Yeah, I think you're right. right. I should before adding barracks. I think I should start siege tanks. Yeah, if you had like five or some tanks right now in siege mode, you'd yeah, be able to start working on everything. Orange. Yeah. So for timing perspective on the current world record run, they start hitting orange at 6:55. You have a lot of time. Really? Yeah, you're doing good. They make sure they have overwhelming force before pushing into orange. But I almost think that you're rushing through brown too much and you're losing those early units when you could... It would save you time to be a little more cautious. Hmm. For example, in this one, it went really, really well until you got the factory down. Then you kind of lost stuff around that time. And all that stuff could be killing their infrastructure right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, getting that kind of, like, snowball -y effect, totally. Okay, I have a, I have a very much better idea right now. I'm feeling pretty confident here. I think it's doable. And one thing about the orange base is that they have a lot of units, but it's not as many buildings. So the cleanup process is a lot faster. This this base, it's like if I take it slowly, kill the bunkers, kill the factory and the barracks that are here, right? Mm -hmm. Then I can just start producing marines to clear everything else because everything's already been aggroed basically, except for like one to two barracks units. Yeah. And then there's, I think there's, what, two, three race up here, which is fine, because by the time these units get up there, I'll have plenty of Marines to kill it. Yes. So I think uh, I'll go slightly less SCVs in this, go quicker factory units, mm -hmm. micro this a little bit heavier, take a little bit more time there, and then just ferry siege tanks over here. Because as soon as you get, like, the very first time we really went through to beat this one, I think we had three tanks sieged here, but I could easily get like five tanks sieged there. Yeah, and if you look, really you quick. don't have to ferry the tanks over there, really. Uh, if you just move command them, they'll go up into the dark zone. There's a bridge right over there. They'll walk over it and go there. All oh, that no you, shit. All okay. that you have to do is that little high ground weird thing that you can't access. It's like an island. You gotta make sure that's clear so that the tanks on it don't kill your tanks. And once that's... What are they doing? Where is that? Uh, a little bit to the right. Of where you are. The right. Now a yeah. little bit down. A little bit to the right. That oh, thing. this area. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Okay, that's easy, because I can clear it with my BC right away. Yes, exactly. And then you can just walk on over here. Now I want oh, you to keep, so much easier. I want you to keep playing this because you have to learn where every building is. If you get a world record time and then you miss a missile turret, you're gonna be real pissed. <laughs> yeah. I like the attempted comp sat, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how's this idiot gonna beat me? It's gonna be DTs, isn't it? Gotta get a comp sat. Yeah. Well, Mike, well, I can scan for the buildings. All right, I just want to take a little look, see. Okay, cause, so that's actually super helpful because I thought I needed to use dropship to ferry here, and that takes a lot of like attention. Right. And the attention is like where I don't micro, right? So mm -hmm. we have this line of turrets. We have nothing over here. A line of turrets with the starport, perfect. So the one thing to remember on that side is after the starport, there's one sneaky turret. And that's the easy one to miss. Yes, yes. And then we got these three random buildings up here. Uh, that deep boat was just made, so that probably won't get made in the next right. game. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
drop off here, do this. Okay, I gotta remember to do this too. Yeah, the line I'll of turrets and then the top spend, right. like two marines or something to clear out this area so I don't have to think about it. And you know what? It, it, here's an, a question for you. Do you ever, like when you're doing a speed run like this because there's like no fog of war and stuff, I could imagine if I did this like a lot, I would make a little see-through piece of plastic to put literally on my monitor over the mini-map that shows where buildings are. Oh, dude, that's genius. Oh, I like that a lot. That's yeah, you super just, smart. That would that would make it a lot easier, I think. Big brain toast is over here. Eh, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's do this one again. This is a, well, let's for fucking get the wait a minute. Where is this? Restart. I'm excited. Oh. I'm I believe. You missed picking up an SCV, I think. Input coordinates yeah. in the five, 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 All right, we got time on that one. I can't believe this. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Strap yourself in, yeah, boy. In the five, 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 five. Reporting for duty. I haven't got one. Your forces are under attack. attack. I haven't got one. Where am I going? Damn. It's always farther to the that left. I haven't got all day. Good to go, sir. And my factory. Head down. gas really soon he usually gets it at 215 We're good on SCVs. I do too. Uh, two of them are following another guy, though. There you go. Oh, there I go again, just making us CVs. Peace management. <laughs> just hotkey your factory to your CCs. That's a good idea. I'm going to start clearing up here. 
Very nice. And let's get siege mode. I think before you clean up there, you need to make sure that Rax is down. Mm. Two Rax production yeah. is a little bit much for your rally, but one Rax is fine. Yeah, this is feeling so much better this game. It's always bad luck to talk about time, but this is a really good one. <laughs> it's a really good one. <laughs> If you can take down that far left Rax with the tanks, then Brown will be able to do nothing. Base now. Yeah, try to use the BC to tank. It's got a lot of HP. I think the next thing you need to think about is that once Orange is down, when you get to the top of their base, the triple BCs come. Be very careful about that. That's good though, actually. You pulled them apart. You can win that BC fight. Yours is better. Mm. If you don't have stim, you should get it. Left side push down. Go, 
So at this point you can start stimming to burn down the buildings faster. And then you need something for the starport in the top right. Oh, damn, he gets a lot of defense down here. Oh, uh, yeah. Still, this was a phenomenal time. You're really close. Yeah? I think it's just having more Marines at Orange after you clear everything. Mm -hmm. Is this, like, up on yes. yeah. an island? Oh, no, it's not okay. on an island. It's just uh, StarCraft 1 path, I <laughs> Right. It's oh, it's up the zigzag. Okay. Alright, so you don't actually have to kill add-ons. Of course. Just go neutral. Okay. Alright, so what was the actual world record time on that? Uh, 10 minutes and 7 seconds. Oh, that's so doable. You are currently 6th place. Alright. Uh, to put that in perspective, I believe that your first run was like 16th. So. Nice. <laughs> good improvement. Alright. Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm I'm gonna break it in the next three tries. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right. I'm really excited. Uh, me too. <laughs> you gotta do it. I'm living vicariously through you. Let's go. Make up your mind. Do I read you? Yes, sir. I'm here. Make up your mind. Race, follow him. Destination. I can't believe this. Half a squadron never would have left his equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Your forces are under attack. Go ahead. Destination. Wrap yourselves in, boys. Buckle up. Call the shot. I'm all over it. Your forces are in the tower, sir. What? Transmit forces. Your forces are under attack. Oops. Should have shift clicked that a lot a bit better. Good wraith fight. Oh, I need a. Ah, oh, I should have made that before I bought a deep bone tank. Yeah. You might want to reset. Think so? 
Uh, you missed the SCV mining early. You missed the mm. uh, CC landing and the gas. <laughs> so it's like every game I ever play in the ladder, basically. At least right, you're consistent. <laughs> Oh shit, that was such a fast restart. Okay. Nail it, nail it, nail it. What you did nail is that your first CC was mining really quick that time. Go ahead, HQ. Buckle up. I can't believe this. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. I'll take care of my production facilities after I have this shit ready. Go ahead, HQ. Destination By the way, when you're doing the speed runs, I don't know if you know this, but make sure you use move command. Because <laughs> this fucking, if you try to attack moving to a corner like that, you literally will never occur. I really do appreciate the StarCraft 1 tips, by the way, because I am clueless. <laughs> Nothing wants to move how you want it. Let's... Also, if you hit spacebar, it bring, I don't know if this is a StarCraft 2 thing as well, actually, but it brings you to last transmission, which is actually pretty useful because you can't hockey everything in this game. Yeah, that's in StarCraft 2 as well. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh, that's so painful. Yeah. Damn, have some range. Okay, I'm gonna unhockey my command centers. Alright. Because my, like, literally, I just have it grinded into myself to just keep producing SCVs. My fingers just go through S4S yes, all the time. Whenever I'm doing StarCraft 2, after I'm done speedrunning, I have to literally unbind F2. Because you get these bad habits, and you have the good habits from ladder. How long does siege mode take to research?
I'm gonna save your mottos for the uh, BCs that come. I like that. Something is killing you in Brown's base. Oh. Oh, I think my wraith. Oh no, wraith right there. I don't know. Maybe green. Probably. Oh, there's still units in there. Huh? Yeah, you gotta really wait, want. and then they'll pull everything out to defend their base eventually. Oh, because it's orange. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good tip. I have some ideas for this one whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, let me know. I know I can't so, make it still. I was thinking about siege mode, and you don't need siege mode until you're up here. You should yeah. not be getting siege mode until like tank four or five, and that should mean that you can either fit in another fact or plus one attack for, uh, like off of the eBay, right? Hmm. The. Plus, I don't know if plus one attack is going to be quite worth it. I think the second fact might be better, or maybe quicker stim and range or something. Yeah, any of those. Because I feel like I could get stim quicker. I'm, like, forgetting to get that, but that's actually very helpful. Because once you have, like, three or four tanks, your marines don't actually need health, right? Uh, maybe. You're the TVT expert. <laughs> well, believe me, stim is not something we ever get there, so. I know. I just see no medics, and I'm like, stim is for buildings, and that's it. But you're right, you have a bunch of marines that are around the map that could benefit from it. So a, another speedrunner named Ace is doing some parallel testing to us, and he says that if you more aggressively use the Wraiths, then mm -hmm. Wraith plus BC two shots the Goliaths. So you might want to focus on that, because it's three shots normally with the BC. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much so that... So if all the Wraiths shoot once plus... Plus the BC twice, I think that that's a confirmed kill. That might smooth things out. I mean, you're doing brown very well already, but that might make it even better. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll slow Siege down. I want to try a quicker academy. That feels like it's going to be really good. Yeah, I think so. If I can just stim and clear out this side relatively quickly, that's going to be super powerful. Also, I got to unhockey my command centers once I have enough. A gas is generally a little bit slow. And this time, your uh, factory also landed slowly, so your tank count was a little bit yeah. lower. And those are very easy fixes. Yeah. And this time is still really good. So you didn't get uh, anything on the right hand or the left hand side. Yeah. I think I gotta work on my gas timing. I feel like that's one of my biggest errors here. Left side, guys. Destination. Jacked up and good to go. 
I will never not be shocked at how good static defense is in this game. <laughs> I think I'll also remove the... No, I don't need scan. There's no reason to get scan. You don't need scan, and your army shouldn't be at home. Yeah. I think never attacks, he does it. So this was, I mean, it's going to be about the same time as last one, but the amount mm -hmm. of time it took you to kill Orange's base is drastically lower. It was just the random mm -hmm. stuff around the map. That's good. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this. So my oh, SCV man, count this team feels all right. Huh? Where's the last building? Oh, I think maybe there's a turret right there. Um, So I got seven, 10 SCVs, 12... Oh, I think yeah, I only I need less than twenty SCVs. I think for this mission. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I know yeah. that SCVs are way better in StarCraft One, but that feels like nothing. Hmm. No, it is. It is super low. I don't know why it's it doesn't make sense to my competitive brain. Like I think SCVs. it's because if you ever go that low, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because there's only a couple mineral fields that don't suck. Mm. All the other ones are just in such bad locations that you really don't get that great of mining from them. Yeah, you would almost need four SCVs per patch to get optimal mining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Greetings. We're gonna get. We're gonna beat my other record this time. All right, BC, go. Make up your mind. Order for Finally. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Well, go ahead, HQ. Destination? Yes, sir. Input coordinates finished. Go ahead, HQ. I copy that. About time. I'm listening. I That's annoying. Oh, that's probably not a good idea to send that up there. No, they're gonna kill your SCVs. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna yeah this we're one gonna pretend this one didn't happen. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the buildings going adventure strat. <laughs> Trying to like incorporate, you know, shit that that gets done. Like, um, you know, I have this building out doing anything. Let's go scout with it. Right. <laughs> Let's like make sure I know where the turret is. I really like the idea of using everything available to you because when we went into this, mm -hmm. I really felt like, for example, the dropships were underutilized. But I'm not sure about the science facility. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to focus on getting this one down right where it goes. Go 
Yeah, I, I was doing better Yamato in the top turret. I think so. Fucker! <laughs> Why again. did that happen again? Oh, man. Doing something different, I guess. It, the StarCraft 1 AI also, it seems to have a list of various things that it likes doing and kind of picks from it. Do you ever have that where stuff is randomized in a certain way where you need a certain thing to happen to get the record? Yeah, generally. A lot of the time, though, you can at least... So most of the time, people don't do individual runs. At least I don't. So it's in the greater scope of a whole campaign. Mm. And when that happens, uh. you just make sure you have a strat for it. So you'll go, eh, mm. I'm going to lose five seconds here. That sucks, but it's a two and a half hour run. So five seconds hopefully isn't the difference. This equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Destination, buckle up. I'm listening. Well, destination, job finished. I haven't got all day. Returning in. Victor. Go ahead, HQ. Hang on. We're in the job. No. <laughs> well, that's game over. Oh my god! <laughs> the two How do you not punch your wall? Make up your mind. It's okay, I didn't like that opening anyway. I feel better about the reset. <laughs> I like using the dropship that you sacrifice to scout the bottom turret, though. I think that's a really good reminder. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Get those into position. About time. Input coordinates. Should work. Well. Go ahead, HQ. Buckle up. Well. Reporting in. Speak up your mind. I'm here. SCB good to go, sir. Destination? Hang on. We're in for some job. Standing by. Input coordinates. We're going to get that gas in a second here. That's very early. Is it? I think well, it's because I normally don't even have that thing landed right. until the time I need it. I can only tell you when he gets it, but he gets it at 2.15. Really? Okay. But he plays differently, so. Where's my factory? There it is. Okay, close enough. Me, boy. Well, 
If I have this idea to use the dropship, mm -hmm. where I'm going to, once I get my two SCVs onto the high ground, because that's kind of the last uh, thing I need it for, I'm going to send it with, like, two Marines here to get the bottom turret, because that's, like, one of the harder places to attack move to. Oh, I like that. Let's get the academy we're talking about here. I'm here. Standing by. Go straight for I'm here. I want to be some meat, boy. Report for duty. Order for safety. I know we can rally that, but I may as well since I'm not doing anything else with it. Maybe I can just build the turrets with the tanks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Early. You will need siege mode soon. There's one turret on the far left side I don't want you to mess. Oh, yeah. Also, that ghost is never going to kill anything. Yeah. We got a little bit of a spy block in here that slowed me down quite a bit. Yeah. It was a couple things happen at once in the weird wraith attack. Hmm. 
Russian forces are under Make attack. I didn't miss something there. Then you will have to go top left. the BCs. Hiding, afraid. Oh, I guess they protected that. Yeah, I think they were up there. I think that before you get that top right starport, you gotta pull the BCs to the main fight. Mm. Yeah, you're right. I do think that you need only a tiny force to take it down, though, because there's no defenders. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, if you lose Duke, I'm gonna cry. Oh, no! It's such a good time. Almost. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to talk about, you end up banking a lot of gas. How do yeah. we fix that? Either mining less or finding something to use it for. Mm. You beat your time, though. Did I? Yeah. I fucked that up terribly. Yeah, nice. but you played so well at the beginning that you beat it. Nice. Okay. Um... Because I think the Marines are are really, they're very worthwhile. Like, I need, I think it's like more than four or five tanks. Does that really have value? I'm not so sure. That's a good point. They like, don't clear as Yeah, once I have the tanks and I, yeah, if you just aggro in like the six or seven tanks and gulls in the top right, it's basically over. Yeah. Um. The gas only seems limiting like really early on. The Marines kill buildings quicker than tanks, I think. Oh, but it you has need the to tanks be. to clear a bunch. Um, I did get supply blocked there. Here, let's. Mm. It's hard work to get fucking records, man. It is. A lot of people are fighting for them. Hmm. At least you don't have probe going around sniping your records. <laughs> I know too. He's a he's a pro as well. Make Man, you invite me to the pylon show and I have two world records, and by the time that it starts, I have one. Feels bad. Input <laughs> <laughs> Half 
Alpha Squadron never would have left his equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Job finished. Go ahead, HQ. I copy that. Call the shot. Your forces I'm are under attack. Well. Input coordinates. Go ahead, it's HQ. a better start than what Go I've ahead, had so far HQ. for the very beginning. I agree. wanted you to get that SCV mining right now. You always forgot him. There you go. Great. I think you've lost too much. You think so? Yeah. What What did I do wrong there? I think it was just a difficult fight. I'm sorry, I was actually typing something because I came up with a good idea to optimize your opening a bit. And I kind of missed yeah. the fight. So what I want you to do is when your first SCV finishes, grab the dropship SCV as well and rally it, and then land your second CC. Just do all that in one glue. Uh, thing because those are the ones that kind of get you and then you don't yeah. have an SCV mining really early your second CC lands late and they're all at about the same time then yeah, you won't have yeah. to keep going back yeah that's that's a very good point okay let's try that Yeah, I'm pushing out there a little bit too quickly. I need these units in position first. I've found that the ghost seems really good at pulling the people into you. So mm. it seems to be that's why the ghost hits a building, it pulls the enemy, and that's when they try to go up and attack the bio instead of the BC and raids. So I think they're the yeah. focus. Each time I go out like to hereish. It sends everything yeah. all at once. And then it's like, okay, just about everything I have does. I'm going to memorize where this CC goes. So this is like halfway is here. So just up and left of halfway. Uh, if you use the bottom marker of there, the little mini map has a color change. Do you know what I mean? Like bring yeah. your screen up a little bit and you can see the mini map 
it changes from dark gray to light gray. Oh, damn. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Oh, oh, you stupid DC. I haven't got all day. I'm listening. Strap yourselves in, boys. In transit, HQ. In the five, five, what? five, five. I can't believe this. Half a squadron never would have left us equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Ghost report. Destination. Destination. I copy that. Call the shot. What? Your forces are under attack. Destination. Your forces are under attack. I'm here. I hear that. Land CC. Nice. I'm gonna move these into position, and then I'm gonna get all my production landed. Yeah, this is much better this time. Yeah, that was a great Wraith fight. I think you want one of the ghosts farther north. Hmm. It seems to be when... Oh, okay. Let's land these. Funny, sometimes that has an add on, and sometimes it does not. Yeah, it's really weird. I think it's objectively worse for you when it doesn't build the add on. Because it's yeah, probably just it building. The same amount of, it has the same. Like, Goliath build time is the same as Adam build time. Right. It's like one extra unit. Okay, I'm gonna bring. Still have, yeah, we have three on gas. We have a good SCV count. Good save. We're keeping the gas down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hang 
Siege pretty soon. Yeah. Destination Damn. I don't remember a tank in there. Yeah, they'll pick up the tanks from the high ground and they'll drop them in various places. Hmm. Maybe I should clear that next time. BC. Or wait until it's a little bit later on to clear there. Yeah. One small adjustment that I think would help is getting the BC on top of the factory in the racks once you're trying to take them down. Because one thing I notice that's happening is things will pop out, start attacking the not BC, and then it's taking your initial guys out. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really good point. I really do need to have. Because I think oh, if you aggro. play like this, but you keep most of your initial guys alive during the push. You're going to have enough DPS to kill the brown base fast, and you'll be really golden. Mm -hmm. I also think that you need five tanks, definitely, for orange base. Four doesn't quite seem to yeah. be enough. Yeah. Five would slaughter it. Do you think there's any merit in building the racks? You know the place with the two bridges kind of in the middle but a little bit up? Like, a little, right here. Right here? Yeah. yeah. I don't know there's if it would help. There's a few units there. There's a few units there at the beginning though. Oh, that's true. They don't all get aggroed right away. I think I have to get my tanks here before everything aggroes from top left. Yeah, you're right about that. It's just a very long rally for that bio. Yeah. Is under attack. I see something. You can actually build them and then fly them. Yeah, that's true. You could build them right next to that edge and float them over. 
Yeah, I guess I'm not getting them till that late. I can actually even build them up here. <laughs> yeah. And then just float them right over. So I still feel a bit weird that you don't have plus one on Marines. Do mm. you think there's a way to... Maybe I'm just wrong in my... I have a lot of gas. And I have a lot of gas now, but yeah. early on I kept my gas really low. That is very true. Right. So it's mm. about maybe 6.30 when you get your fifth. How long does plus one take? It's like two, three minutes like, in this game? Yeah, almost two minutes. Oh, man. Let's try this again. So, yeah, the barracks a little bit closer. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I don't mind starting them where they were. Like here, because I kind of use the rallied marines to clean up the rest of the space. Right. This and area seems to be taking a while to get my units over there, because there's a lot of buildings here. There are. That's why I was saying I think we the next focus has to be on keeping those initial guys alive, because they will mm. clean up that brown base so much more quickly. Yeah, that's true. Trying to think if there's any anything else I can do. Like, yeah, try to aggro on the BC more totally. If I I can aggro more heavily on the BC. If I go later tank, because then I can repair it more or something. Right. But do you want to go later tank? Because I feel I like the so. limiter on the orange fight is five tanks. Yeah. Your forces are under attack. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. Go. I haven't got all day. I read you. Roger. Ghost important. I'm listening. In transit, well, thank you. Standing by. I haven't got all day. I'm I listening. can't believe this. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Go ahead, HQ. Strap yourself Make in, boy. Your mind. Input coordinates. I'm listening. Strap yourself in, boys. What? Your forces are under attack. Vector locked in. Make up your mind. Go ahead, HQ. Ghost report. I'm listening. Well. Your forces are under attack. Back. Seems to be going pretty well, I think. I think it's going really well. Seem to be a bit random. I know that if they don't come, they will attack your mineral line later. It's one of four. Is okay. Always something. Orders, 
a good opening, too. I'm just gonna try something kind of silly this time, since I fucked that up so bad. Yeah, that's fine. Just wanna see if I go like. Put those on hockeys. And my oh. fingers went 3s, 4s, which stopped them. Alright, let's just try that again. So, yeah, your beginning though was so good. Hmm. I don't know why. Like, somehow you got your CC landed like five seconds faster than you normally do. Yeah, I, I think CCs are second click. Yeah. Just click BC out. Second click C, first CC is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Then depot, pick everything up because the first CC gets there real fast if you click it real fast. Yeah. Okay, Gemini, I will turn up my mic. Jesus. Thank you. Where's my mic up? One second. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, there you go. Is that too loud for you? Uh, I can turn you down. There Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> it starts so quick. I think you should restart. You're 12 seconds late on mining. Oh! There's always this something. Is crazy! I haven't got all day. Make up your mind. Yes, sir. Order scout. Go straight forward. Go ahead, HQ. I got yeah, I need to not. I'm not gonna fuck with the race. That's what's. That's what's. Uh, messing me up quite a bit. Yeah. And they really can't do much. Yeah, and I don't want them to take damage anyway, so. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. About time. I'm listening. I'm here. I'm listening. Input coordinates. In transit, HQ. Your forces are under attack. Reporting in. Coordinates are still Okay, this is much cleaner. Yeah, definitely. Go down there. Your forces are under attack. Okay. Okay. I can it. Good open.
And normally a tank starts to aggro over here pretty quickly. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm not losing my ground units to it. We have way more units alive than normal. Yeah, this is good. So one thing I would say about the brown base too is once the production is dead, you probably want to go after the CC so they stop building SCVs to do random crap. Because mm. we've seen them That's go around point. repair. We've seen them build freaking proxy depots. Yeah. Did you kill the raves? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I think so. I, I think. <laughs> I think you did. I just wanted to make sure that you're not going to get sneak attacked. Hmm. I guess you have your raves, so it's fine. After the first time I raised the through the beginning. Stalled. I guess Sim? Yeah. Okay. What do you think about holding the raids back for the BCs? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That.
Left side needs to push down. Why are these marines so stupid? Wow. Need a group top left. Starport in the top, and you need to deal with the BCs. Bottom turret, bottom middle turret. Oh no. Oh. The orange one. Still, this was really good improvement. I think you're oh. going to get it next time. Your forces are under attack. Fuck. Hey, what, what time are we looking for? 10 minutes, 6 seconds. Close. Close. Okay, yeah. the clearing of brown seemed good. Uh, I was a little bit sloppy. I, the barracks idea, I don't think is going to work. The, I think you're it, right. It's a bit too funky. Macro cycles. Yeah, it, they're, they're spread a little bit too much. I think um, in StarCraft 2 it would work really well, but no multiple buildings yeah. select. Yeah. So, I think the tank production is pretty good. The mining was really good. Focusing on getting my mining down is probably optimal. Mm -hmm. Um, Getting those tanks up there. Yeah, the that There's was... like a couple depots here, so to attack, move them is actually really hard. I think what I'll do is after I kill these things, I'll use the tanks that I have to focus depots here. So okay. that they can just attack, move cleanly to here. That's a good idea. And w during that time, I'll use the BC to clear out this area and kill those two tanks. And then once I actually have aggroed here, they'll probably pick up the tanks from here, and then I can send Marines down here. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna write down a note to myself to remind you about those orange turrets. At yes. which time? <laughs> uh, we are doing the orange turrets after I have sieged here. Okay. Once I siege here, I think they're gonna pick up the the tanks that are over here, which yes. are what kill the units that go down there. Okay.
Oh, what? It fuck. All right, just restart. It's fine. Ah, oh, all that. <laughs> It picked up the uh, SCV while it was building deep. I honestly didn't even know you could do that. I had no idea either. That's I had no idea. That's crazy. Learn <laughs> something new every day. Yeah. Uh, especially with this fucking game. My God. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. 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 Well, transmit coordinates. Order scout. I'm here. I'm listening. Go ahead, HQ. Okay, this is the most smooth mining I think yep. we've had. Can't let it go out that far. That was really, really rough. Oh, uh, that was like the entire base. I haven't got all. Uh. <laughs> I just need to take my time a little bit more with that. I'm just like, I'm pushing it a little bit too heavily. This bunker too fast. I 
think that's pretty good. Yeah, that is good. Not bad. Let's get back up. One of my gas is a little bit later than the guy who has his record, but I think it's okay. Yeah. You haven't spent almost any money repairing, so you're going to have that advantage. Yeah. Time to send out some repairs. He's got more range than a regular BC, doesn't he? I don't Feels know. Feels like it. Like, can BCs outrange bunkers? I don't think that's ever come up in a game. <laughs> uh, is there anybody in the bunker? Oh, there is. I mean, they don't have their range upgrade, maybe. Hmm. Siege mode? What was that? Siege mode. Ah, uh, shh. Yeah, I got it. I got oh, it. nice, nice. Ugh. Where are my other tanks? I think I lost a tank? Yeah, you might have. Oh, you're gonna get wrecked up there, I think. No way, man. This is fucking brood war high ground. Uh, okay. I'm gonna choose to believe. It's weird that my units, like, sometimes are getting attacked by Wraith and don't attack back. Is that not normal? No. If they're attacking buildings, they will always aggro into it, unless you have, like, gave them just the command to attack the building. Interesting.
Keep the left, left push going. And then turrets for orange. Mm. Uh, I fucked this one up. Ugh. I think the tanks weren't fast enough. Yeah. It was kind of, I was like 30 seconds later on my gas than normal. Yeah, you could definitely feel it. I think you might be right that you lost one at some point. I think I did. I think there was like a tank over here. I didn't realize that that took him out. Okay. Let's try again. I think we have right, time this has to be my more. last try for right now because I have to go get my kids after this. Mm. Oh, it's the last try you need. <laughs> Hopefully, I am going to fucking do this whether it's today or not. This is <laughs> like, I will not be defeated by this fucking mission. Right, that was a better land of the second CC at least. It was. The pickup of this SCV was a little bit, little bit slower. And you missed a little bit with the first CC, but it was only a couple seconds. They lose a wraith, or I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think the wraith is the most okay thing to lose. Hmm. Wraiths don't really kill shit very well. Exactly. So I'm going to focus on nailing my tanks this game, I think. So we can really clear. Yeah, I think you want five tanks as fast as possible because that really is what's holding you up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get gas. Start tank production. All right, the rates haven't actually come in yet. Unload here. I like that pickup. Oh, you made the tank stupid. <laughs> Another tank's incoming. Yeah, it didn't kill anything. Position that wraith right there. You know, let's just move this up here with the rest of my army. And let them, just the marines can clear that. That's a good idea. Okay. Tank is high damage, so it gets their building armor pretty well. Okay, let's get another couple of barracks.
We don't have academy yet, right? Okay. Correct. All right, then. What? We need a roll out. Go ahead. You keep this shit going. have time don't rush orange make sure you're ready you're doing good Hit by two rays on the left side. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. They still deal with it though. Thought I would have aggroed those by now. Whoa. That's unlucky. Yeah, that's horrible. is dead oh <laughs> oh man yeah maybe i should just not send anything back for that uh brown push is not going and they need to do the turrets for orange Yeah, the five tanks really do wreck this area. I need to do it just a bit cleaner to get there. Yeah, the rally there is really hard.
Do they allow save, save states for time runs or? Not for individual levels. So if you're doing the full campaign, you can save before you try something and then reload if it fails. But for an individual mission, no save load. Okay. Or it might be that if you do it, you have to add all the cumulative playtime. I think that might be the rule. Hmm. Uh, there's an orange turret still, and then there's people at the top. I felt like it was so close a lot of these times. Yeah. It's just like one or two things. Living on one. Damn it. So we're like 55 seconds over? Yeah. That can, oh, that can definitely be done though. And that wasn't your best time. You had a time that you... It was 10-something when you should have been done. Mm. Oh, yeah, but I missed the one turret. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, when you're counting the, like, time, you just fix that, right? That was... Mm. Uh, it really feels close. <laughs> yeah. It's all the attack on the orange base, but I think you did phenomenally well. For the first day of someone speedrunning... I mean, I've never seen someone get a world record on their first day, so I was... Really putting a stretch goal out there. <laughs> well, it was it was five hours of goodness. Uh, Grant, thank you for coming on today. Thank you so this much was, for having me. This was highly pleasurable. Um, I really want to get that still, so I might work on that some tonight. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I would have to like record it, or is the replay enough? Uh, you don't get replays for the campaign. You got to record. Oh shit. Okay. Well. I have to do that then. Um, all right. Well, Grant, why don't you tell people about your 24-hour stream? Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. So, guys, if you like speedrunning and you are willing to watch uh, about 24 hours of it, on June 19th through June 20th, uh, for most of you, it might be June 20th to 21st for the Europeans and Asians, I will be doing a 24-hour speedrun stream where I run 147 StarCraft missions in a row, every mission in every StarCraft, except for StarCraft 64. And <laughs> it's going to be really painful, and the only record I'm going to make is most persistent speedrunner. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, that's excellent. Guys, check him out. Use the command giant or WR to get links to uh, his channel and everything. Thank you for coming on, man. Uh, this was this was awesome, and I'm actually kind of pissed I didn't make it. I was like, I think I can do it, and we're getting closer. Yeah, and you're getting more consistent. That's the big thing. Yeah, you're not yeah. getting random flukes to get good times. Yeah, like I mean, there's a little bit of things that sound feel like a little bit uh, lucky at times with the what I'm aggroing and stuff, but I think I've figured out a lot of the what's actually aggroing what, right? Right. So that's that's good. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'll be back tomorrow with a regular stream. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Are you going to keep streaming? I'll give you a host if you are. Oh, no, I got... This is usually my day off anyway, so... Oh, shit, sorry. No, it's <laughs> no problem. coming on your day off. But guys, if you do um, want to check me out, my stream just happens to end right before Artosis begins. It's really crazy. So if you want to check out Giant Grant Games on Twitch.tv about three hours before Artosis normally streams, it'd be pretty cool. That is a... Uh... Perfect. You can be the warm-up stream for me. Lead them into me. <laughs>